This is a HeadGum Podcast. This week on the program, this one, wow, how is it such a massive franchise? It's Leprechaun. I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Osadak. Eric Siska. Chris Ocabin. What? No, <laughs> what fucking Polish impression was no, that? That was Italian. Oh, Excuse sure. Me. Okay, great. Oh, Chelsea McBecca. <laughs> <laughs> yes. James A. O. Janice. <laughs> and we hate movies. We all go a little mad sometimes. You know, it's Halloween. I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare, huh? Sometimes. That is what I... Time to keep your appointment with the Wicker Man. They're coming to get you, Barbara. He's sick for fucks. You've seen one too many movies. Now, Sid, don't you blame the movies. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. What the fuck are you doing, Wicker Man? Excellent day for an Hello, everyone. Welcome to We Hate Movies. Thank you for tuning in. As always, that's right. It's Leprechaun from 93, written and directed by Mark Jones. You may know him as the auteur behind Rumpelstiltskin and 2008's LOL Triloquist, which all you need to know about Triloquist, ladies and gentlemen, was it was released by the Dimension Films Extreme uh, Shutter Ooh. or Shingle, rather. Uh, and who better? To have on the program, finally, for the first fucking time, uh, yes. a long time coming here, our good friends, Chelsea and James from the Dead hey. Man Shows. How are you guys doing? Hey, Great. Guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. Returning the favor from two years ago when Something we had like you on our Andrew channel. Man. Yeah. Lots oh, 20... of people's favorite episode of our podcast. Was, was, that, the, really? was that Slender Man? <laughs> It was. it was Slender it Man. It was Slender yeah. Man. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> that's on your YouTube, right? Yes. It is, yeah. All of us crammed just... into a dining room table in our apartment. <laughs> <laughs> it was a memorable night. I'm going to yeah. make a bold prediction. This is going to be everyone's favorite episode of this podcast. Hell yeah. Yeah. Guaranteed. Yeah. Guaranteed. Well, everyone loves Leprechaun, man. He's the best. <laughs> It'll never be a uh, Mortal Kombat for me. James and I still re-listen to that episode. You yes. guys did. Ooh, yeah, that was a special one. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I feel like this was a movie we've sort of, like, kicked down the road Probably since the spectacular started, it was like year one of the spectacular. Hey, you want to do Leprechaun? Yeah, sure. And then we just had better ideas. <laughs> we're, uh, we're, we're so finally, now here we are. Yeah, finally getting to all the stuff we didn't want to do, but we've been <laughs> podcasting for ten years, so yeah. we kind of have to do. It. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for, for bringing dragging us, on. us down yeah. with you. <laughs> oh, for the when I told you, so so I got a message from Eric asking if we'd come be on the show, and when I showed James the message with what movie he asked us to watch, I saw light. Leave James's. Oh, no. So, this, so like, James, why? Leprechaun. James, you're the horror guys. You guys love horror. You love this movie. But my hard hitting question uh, James, where on your body is your leprechaun tattoo? Oh, oh, yeah, right on my ass where it belongs. <laughs> <laughs> But so uh, are you a super yeah. fan or have you, you, you said that you've seen this an embarrassing amount of times before we started and yes. I'm going to throw it to you. What's, what's the number? What's, what's a, an, a guesstimate of the number? It is at least four. Okay. Mm. I mean, if we're talking like life, like including <laughs> when I was younger and watching horror movies, then it's probably double digits. Okay. Uh, but like just in the past four years, it's been four or five times. And uh, every time I watch, and, and I've done the whole series a number of times as well, <laughs> wow. like back to back. The whole and, thing? Even that new yeah. one, the 2018 one? Yeah. Uh, I like the It's honestly not one. that bad. Yeah. It's the, yeah. it's okay. the WWE <laughs> one that is the largest steaming pile of shit. Oh, Leprechaun that's what was that dude's name? Seamus? Hornswoggle. No. <laughs> no. <Seamus. laughs> well, see, I don't know Seamus. wrestling, but that's Seamus doesn't should that have seem, been in it. Doesn't Seamus that seem is like, like six five? Oh, is <laughs> that right? Awesome. I don't know. Oh, ho- no, oh, yes, yeah, so, Hornswoggle. Yeah. Hornswoggle. Hornswoggle. Yes. yes. So, who had ooh. a uh, who had a storyline where he lived beneath the ring? He lives under the oh, ring, and no. where he was Vince <laughs> McMahon's illegitimate son. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I have to say, I checked out of wrestling during the Attitude Era, so I, I'm not aware of Hornswoggle. But that yeah. sounds uh, pretty degrading. No, Seamus <laughs> is like six foot something, and he also looks like the icon for every like 
Clash of Kings app. You know, the guy oh, who's oh, like, man, that's it. what he okay. looks like. So <laughs> him right. as Leprechaun, I mean, I would watch it. Now that's a horror movie. <laughs> now you've got it. yourselves a yeah. real deal. Because that's like, oh yeah, beware the Leprechaun. Ha ha, yeah, okay. And then that towering <laughs> fucker comes out. Or you can do the Gandalf thing with them, right? You make them yes. look smaller. Oh, yeah. well, you know, oh. something something tells me, man, these movies don't have like, Peter Jackson Weta That's special fair. effects but money. Imagine, imagine a little tough guy, like pure little muscle coming yeah. out. Mm-hmm. Be terrifying. Like a meat wad that's just bicep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's kind of Belial from Basket Case. <laughs> yeah, He's all yeah. muscles. That would yeah. work. It's a muscly oh. meat wad. Yeah. Oh, Basket Case. May uh, I? But yeah, every time I watch these movies, honestly, I end up kind of liking them a little more. <laughs> it's, 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 it's Stockholm Syndrome. It's definitely <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> it's, uh, a, it's, is this your favorite one? Like no, the OG God, no, oh, okay. no, it's low on the list, honestly. Ooh, okay. uh, Vegas is probably number one. Wait, he goes uh, to Vegas? He goes to Vegas in the third one. Caroline Williams is in it. Mm-hmm. It's pretty okay. good. Which, by uh, the way, he, I thought that was this movie. When I was like, oh, we're oh, doing this for Spectacular. Ooh, I was like, okay, no. he goes to Vegas. No. No, dude, they're stuck on a fucking farm in this one. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, uh, caught, I caught most of Vegas on the Sci-Fi Channel one day, and I didn't have a bad time. I'll be totally honest. I was it's like, it's right? fine. It's yeah. fine. Because by then, it, they and... know what they are. In this movie, they don't know what the fuck they are yet. No. It's, it's all Even over the place vo- in tone. His voice is very different. Like, he hasn't really found the character yet. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah. It kind of I mean, just sounds like a guy in some parts. <laughs> he just sounds like his voice. Yeah. You know, he's not even attempting yeah. an Irish accent, really. <laughs> yeah. uh, can I, can I embarrass say, myself? Really oh, quickly? do it, dude. Do it. I, I do was it. so, uh, I, I mean, like I've said a, a trillion times in the show, I, I was really late to horror. I was a real scared little kid. And I, think I was on, too. <laughs> I think, honestly, up there with like Freddy Krueger, I was like, oh, dude, get that leprechaun out of here. I thought oh, it was on, really? the scariest thing in the world. I swear <laughs> to God. Well, it's because his makeup is like, legit it, he yes. looks like another yeah. uh, otherworldly being it doesn't look like a dude in makeup yeah uh, pr- shout out to gabe bartalos for doing all those makeup effects yeah. and then he's he's also just a, a nasty little fucker leprechaun exactly. is like he's so mean <laughs> yeah and, i would you know, rather get killed by any other of the slashers because you know what they're just cutting you cutting your head off or impaling you on something i don't want claws and biting the biting, the biting. is a big problem mm. the biting is okay. a big problem okay yeah. but th- but leprechaun versus Trolls from Ernest Scared Stupid. <laughs> oh, those are scary. <laughs> Way leprechaun. scarier. Than I think leprechaun. leprechaun. No, really? Leprechaun's leprechaun leprechaun scarier. Well, yeah. Steve grew up in the Bronx, which you you were close proximity to a lot of Irish. You're people, battling sure. off the Irish left and right up there. <laughs> uh-huh. Very scary. Very scary. <laughs> oh man, I'll say my favorite though, Lep in the Hood is. I Ooh, will go to sure. Lep in the Hood has some legit heart to it. Man. I think it's a lot of fun, <laughs> and honestly, I don't hate Leprechaun in space. I kind of like it. We actually, I'm going to, I'm going to let you guys know also. So it's like on the record. And if this ever comes up, like you can defend us as uh, there's some stolen ideas here. We posited recently what I think is a pretty rad idea for Freddy in space, which has never happened. The idea is one of the astronauts on a mission to space is a former Elm Street kid. And they have to go into a hypersleep situation. Yeah. And, uh-oh. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> no, just, waking up from I this. love this. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what that Passengers movie should have been. Oh, yeah. Is that much, what that was? Much less uh, go- rape. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Because that's, that's kind of just what's going Chris on in that Chris Pratt one, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jennifer God, Lawrence. yeah. He's a creep and a half. There should have Absolutely. been Freddy Krueger in that for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so credit where credit's due, I have to say... Because what I've been doing, uh, folks, is I'm trying to say, even like movies like this, which do, are not my thing, I'm trying to say nice things about them. Get a nice word in. <laughs> You're uh-huh. kind man. old age, you know? Okay. And so I'll say, credit where credit's due, shot one, you're seeing this fucker. Yes. It is not a, like, we're hiding it or whatever. Shot one, he is there with his little <laughs> pot of gold or whatever. Pretty great. Seeing the guy right out front. See, Anybody I would that, say yeah. that's a negative. <laughs> oh no! When we really? were watching it last night, I I pointed out to James that I love that Leprechaun. It's just Warwick Davis, like it's a guy. Yeah. You yeah. know, we're not doing like an, uh, an animatronic or any kind of puppetry. It's just it's Warwick Davis, and so you get all these 
really amazing, like two wide of shots where you see all of him just running around and getting blown away by shotguns. He gets the oh. shit beat out of him. He gets the, yeah, he gets the Best shit just like out of him. With flashlights and shit. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's, it's, Dude, they are beating this guy like it's fucking <laughs> Joe Pesci at the end of Casino. It is unbelievable, the it's, beating. It's like when Russell Crowe goes ham on Danny DeVito in L.A. Confidential, where it's like, that's not fair, guys. Okay, don't do that. He's just oh, a little guy. I love it. And yeah, I could watch him get totally just leveled by that shotgun 10 times a day, every day for the rest of my life. It's, it's a, He falls like a like a dummy. It's, <laughs> it's wild. And yeah, it's just framed so wide that... I don't know. There's like no mystery to him either. Yes. It's we're not like avoiding. Oh yeah, avoiding the monster to make him scared. No, it's just him running around. He's skateboarding at one point. <sighs> and correct me if I'm I wrong. Got a big he, question about that skateboard. We'll get to it later. <laughs> he bleeds green when they shoot yes. him, right? That's yeah. Right. Isn't that something? Is that an Irish thing? Do Irish people bleed green? Yeah, half, green. Of, me, half of me bleeds that way. Yeah, if, you cut, if you cut my right arm, it's red. But if you cut my what? left arm, dude, green town. We're gonna when try Mark that. Wahlberg gets cut. It's all <laughs> all green running down that arm. They have to uh, CGI the color correction to make it red on screen. When you, the way you hit cut, I thought of circumcision. So now yeah. I'm just picturing an Irish baby getting circumcised in green blood flying out. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's that's a good thought. I think it's a very good thought. <laughs> well, I'm just letting everyone know what I have to like go to sleep with every night. That's the type yeah. of shit that's oh, every night. I, I thought it was a new thought. <laughs> every, well, it's going to no, be it's in similar count. thoughts every yeah. similar. I was say, every night. Irish babies, dude. Every night, Irish babies. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they change. Okay. It's, oh, it's, okay. It's a good rerun, though. <laughs> Tonight's Ireland. Anybody notice we skipped the what's this movie about? Because it's fucking Leprechaun. It is. It's about Leprechaun. It's, a, it's about yep. Leprechaun. He's Leprechaun. Yeah. It's a Leprechaun pot of gold. All of it. Absolutely. Yeah. We get this uh, nice um, sort of prologue, cold open type thing with uh, Mr. O'Grady. <laughs> Dude, this guy oh. just rolling up in his I limo. Love gold. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I'm glad it's he so got great. a limo ride before he died. Totally. I love that they bother naming the show fairer too. I forget. He's Joseph. Like, oh, Joseph, thank you. Joseph. It's like you didn't need to name that guy, but they did. That's nice. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you know what? Because that's, I feel like these kind of movies, you got to give everybody a character name. So that way, like, if you have the opportunity to get a booth at a con, it's Absolutely. like, uh, oh. you know, I was the chauffeur in Leprechaun. <laughs> $50 for an autographed photo. You know, that's like, true. And it's also world building. Mm. Exactly. That's, what, what's Joseph up to? We'll find out in Leprechaun 3, I bet. Uh, no, <laughs> not really. Fingers crossed for Joseph, the limo driver, to come back. He's I mean, in Vegas. <laughs> oh, actually, that would make sense. Yeah. 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 He I mean, drives from guy, uh, North Dakota, right? What an interesting place to set a movie. Yeah, what a wonderful horror movie setting. <laughs> a farmhouse in North Dakota. It's that so really dumb. grabs my attention. I'm <laughs> curious if, you know how there's there's those kind of like infographics where it's like a map of the U.S. and it kind of shows what horror movies take place. In, this yeah, has yeah. to be the North Dakota <laughs> it's one. It's the North oh, yeah. Dakota one, yeah. I there's no so. other North Dakota. In- yeah. Just home, home videos up there, I think, maybe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, those <laughs> get pretty spooky we found in a guy. Guy's garage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. Some militia training videos up there. <laughs> yeah, a lot of like stop the steal if I don't come back videos. Yeah, totally. We have eight listeners in North Dakota, which means 50% of North Dakota listens to this show, which is really exciting. <laughs> Hell yeah. That, that's almost enough for a live show. I would love to go to North Dakota. <laughs> Bismarck? Is that a North Dakota oh, yeah. town? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's one. I yeah, what else goes Bismarck there too, McDonald's? Right? Why not go Boston, dude? I mean, that's the move, you know, maybe Boston or possibly, you know, the Bronx had a lot of Irish people. Like, why not have an Irish population situation? Look, I think I know why. I was thinking about this. I think because it's like enough Irish people would know how to defeat him. <laughs> I think. Because you know? sure, yeah. they're all taught mm-hmm. that stuff when they're growing up, mm-hmm. right? Like if mm-hmm. ever you see a leprechaun <laughs> come through this door. Oh, uh, I remember I remember my nan, dude. Absolutely. Right? Every birthday card, it was mm-hmm. like, here's five dollars. And also Remember, if you ever find yourself crossing paths with a leprechaun, <laughs> just put a fucking box over him and put a little four-leaf clover mm-hmm. on top yeah. of it. A very or, rickety box. <laughs> throw, throw some dirty shoes at him. <laughs> yeah. Dude, can I just say, yeah. I, again, points to this movie for being, I'm pretty sure, the only horror film where, uh, and maybe this also happens in the sequels, I don't know, so it might be the whole fucking franchise, where the villain is totally taken down because of his own shoe fetish. Yeah. 
He's. I think he gets more. Well, this is Mindhunter. Does right? he really? Yeah. Oh yes. Maybe I will watch these sequels now. But this is, is Mindhunter <laughs> stuff, right? And it's like, oh, this one he really loves shoes and mm-hmm. or is claimed it, he was is a it, cobbler. Is this part of the mythos for leprechauns? I don't know really the the um. I, have, I don't know, think so. I think this mythology. is literally his profession because he says to uh, Chubbs from Teen Wolf, he's like. A, I'm a leprechaun, and B, I'm also a cobbler. I did some, mm-hmm. bu- I did as much research as whoever wrote this movie did, and there, apparently, shoe <laughs> stuff is part of the leprechaun. No. Yes, really. It's like, it's like one of those old antiquated things about vampires, like they have to count shit or something. Like, are you thinking <laughs> of Count Dracula? Dude? <laughs> no, but I think there's an actual thing where it's like they have to count the object. I, there's well, they have to be invited in. Is that what that's you're one of them? That's, a that's one of them. Oh, but they're well, also OCD. You're saying like he's got. I have to touch the doorknob five times. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I'll look it up. Oh, interesting. Yeah, no, with oh, the Leprechaun cool. franchise, the the uh, I oh, don't know, his traits. Oh, sorry to interrupt you, James, but this is very important. Breaking <laughs> news. Breaking <laughs> vampire <laughs> news. <laughs> If a bag of rice, grain, or seeds or other similar substances is spilled on the ground, a vampire will have to count every grain. Oh, oh wow, wow, dude. Yeah. How about that? Nice. He's kind of like Renaissance. Weapon. Or not Renaissance Man. I, Who am I thinking of? Rain what man? man? Yeah, there he is. Rain One man. of the men. He Gotta was count a vampire. The cards. What was Renaissance Man? Oh, Danny DeVito teaching kids in the army. That's right. <laughs> yes. A lot of DeVito on this app. I love it. Oh, totally, yeah. dude. <laughs> I mean, he could play Leprechaun. Definitely I watch that Leprechaun. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they have dressed that man as a leprechaun at least what? I mean, the show's been on the air a while, like six times on It's Always Sunny, you figure? Yeah. Ha- yeah. It's gotta Especially be like like Patty's that. Pub. Like, definitely. Sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're built in advertising. Uh, yeah. All right. So Mr. O'Grady comes home. His wife is like, oh, you're so drunk this time that you've rented a limousine, I see. <laughs> And he's like, no, no, no. I found the leprechaun's gold. And he's got this like sack of gold that he has to go hide. <laughs> and this lady is like really rethinking some life choices here. Like I oh, fucking yeah. left Ireland with this guy. Big mistake. Should have stayed. Uh, he's so drunk. He's blowing our money uh, on, on fanciful limo rides and claiming that we're rich. And then these elderly people well, are just so I, I, murdered. I, I, I do like the thought process, though, of like, oh, gosh, he's really drunk again. Oh, but he got a ride home. That's good. Oh, no, it's a limousine. <laughs> OK. Oh, you're really, you know, just. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, at least you weren't mowing down people in the street. <laughs> exactly. exactly. I mean, you're being more subtle than they are in this movie. Like he the pogues should be following him out of this limousine. <laughs> and he should be saying har ti ti tar ti tar and skipping back and forth up a cobble street. Like, uh, what I love. The most is that he went to Ireland to bury his mother, and then yep. he just got it mixed up in some leprechaun business. I want that prequel. I <laughs> yes. want, yes, yeah. Mm, the hunt. Like, I, guess, I need to see the the leprechaun th- hunt. That would be amazing, and it's it's funny because you'd have to cast someone that's like equally old and shitty as this guy. It's not like him <laughs> young going to Ireland. No, <laughs> that's like kind of the premise of the WWE one. Is that the WWE one? Yeah, where it's where in they Ireland? go to Ireland. Yeah. They go to Ireland, and it's this whole thing where it's a setup where this father and son like lure in tourists by pretending to be, you know, like just very stereotypically, you know, cute and Irish, and like, oh, like, oh, they're so cute. Oh, oh they have a little cabin we can stay at. That's nice. And they just sacrifice tourists to the leprechaun. Oh, it's a decent premise. It's a I feel like she's already premise. overselling the movie. Already <laughs> overselling it. See, I would I would be more interested. I mean, I guess, you know, go to Torrent Town or something. I don't want to give Vince McMahon a fucking penny. <laughs> That's fair. fair. Completely yeah. fair. <laughs> and he has Especially a- he's making poor Horn- Hornswoggle sleep under the ring. <laughs> <laughs> they are treated like circus people, man. It is unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, but I do love uh, the leprechaun's uh, trait in this movie where he impersonates a child. So like, and it's kind of yeah. weird. Like he goes away and then like she starts to hear like twinkle, it's either twinkle, to, I think it's twinkle to a little star. Mm-hmm. And oh, this, no, this first one is Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb in the suitcase. And I'd be like, did he bury his mother or was he doing sex tourism? <laughs> Question mark. Yeah. What was that? Why is there a child in my husband's suitcase? Dude, yeah. but I have to say, it's not just this like little girl thing. He's like mimicking people, throwing his voice. He's like yeah. fucking rich little. <laughs> <laughs> Ask your grandparents yes. about yes. rich little. Very disturbing superpower right there. He's doing all kinds of impressions. Although the acting of the impressions is questionable. This little kid voice is like, help. I'm 
suffocating in here. <laughs> I don't uh, have any air. I don't have air. <laughs> like, uh-huh. What is this <laughs> snacks? This suitcase that is, it's not a suitcase. It's like a briefcase. I mean, yeah. is this like belonging to Mary Poppins? Like, how the fuck is he fitting in this thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the only time there's any like shape shifting or something like that with this guy. And it's yeah. also weird. It's like he got the gold. He came, he brought the leprechaun back to America. I think he was, I think he stowed away, Eric. I think it yeah. was a thing where like at got the it. airport, you know, he checks his bags and then like the little leprechaun just kind of zips in and gets in there kind of a thing. Got yeah. Uh, he's dip- yeah. He gives somebody 20 bucks. I think, I think he has cash, <laughs> like a petty cash situation. The leprechaun does like a wallet full of petty cash for small expenses, but it's mostly about the gold. See- Steve, or calm he- down. Steve, calm down. I know you hate stowaways. <laughs> I do. I you have a deep <laughs> hatred for them. Just calm down. It's okay. Or he flew a tiny airplane over. <laughs> he, he does like his little vehicle. So he does. Much. Oh, so just, cool. just like Rudolph Hess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, is he driving tiny shit in other movies? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In the second one, he's got like a, a clover mobile that he's driving. It's like a go-kart. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember what else he drives around in these. There's gotta like be like movie. a train, like he's a little a choo-choo scooter. train. A helicopter. Do we get a helicopter? At there's no there's no leopard chopper. I don't Damn know. It. Leopard copter, yeah. Aside from it being horrifically in a, uh, inappropriate for children, you could have had a series of uh, Happy Meal toys based on the leprechaun. It's like, oh, look, yes. I've got him on the skateboard. Oh, look, I've got him on the whatever. And his little uh, the tricycle. The tricycle. He's yeah. also got some sort of like uh, battle van with like a. Uh, the battle bot with the a wedge. Bat- the battle bot one. <laughs> yeah, he does have a battle bot, which yes. was a pro-go stick. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. See, James, now, quick now question. Jake, oh, me- oh, no, sorry. I got too uh, excited. James yeah. and Chelsea, are you watching Battle Bots? Oh, we love battle. I almost battle wore my BattleBots shirt. Yeah. yeah, we went to a BattleBots taping a couple years ago, and I lost my voice. Yep. It was the best day of my life. <laughs> I'm, I'm Wait jealous. A second. They brought that Comedy Central show back. Yeah, Dude, oh, yes. it's on, man. Oh it's- yeah, no, <laughs> that's it was. Something. It was such a fun live taping. Like live tapings usually are awful like i don't recommend going to them it's so it sounds like so much more fun in theory but battle bots was a very good i got time. an email two weeks ago offering vip box tickets to battle bots uh for only a hundred <laughs> bucks and i was like damn you pandemic yeah <laughs> dude a hundred bucks a piece to go watch battle bots, no huh? not even a piece dude for the box oh, wow. that's, that's super like, worth it. yeah i really <laughs> wanted to go oh that i would definitely do that. i would yeah. i'm curious 100%. what the foods it's got to be a grilled it's cheese a lot sandwich. of buffalo wings yeah, tons of buffalo wings, absolutely. Dominoes, mm-hmm. you know. No, it's like oh, you get there, like oh yeah, you can order whatever you want. They, there's a guy outside. You can just like deliver <laughs> yeah. food, order yeah. seamless to your delivery <laughs> box. Kind of, yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, the leprechaun breaks out of this uh, briefcase, kills uh, Mrs. O'Grady uh, immediately, which is a little too bad. Uh, and then Mr. O'Grady, dude, blowing holes in this leprechaun with this fucking handgun he's got. This is kind of great. <laughs> yeah, my favorite is he's holding up a four-leaf clover and a gun. And yes. the camera <laughs> is focusing on the four-leaf clover. And leprechaun is like, where did you get that? Put that down. And I'm like, I think it's t- he's talking about the gun, too. Like, <laughs> move the camera. <laughs> I thought at first, because I didn't realize, like, four-leaf clovers were supposed to be, like, you know, a cross in the exorcist or something. Or yeah, that's vampire. how he's holding it. But I thought like this O'Grady was threatening to shoot the four leaf clover. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking killed my wife. Now I'm going to kill your four leaf clover. It is interesting that you can't use a cross on them because I guess Jesus is cool with the leprechaun. Dude, people. it would just power him up. Yeah. Right? Like yeah. The, Cath- the Catholic iconology. Yeah. Just all Absolutely. of the icons and stuff yeah it just gives him powers yeah you get really idolatry yeah if it was an actual crucifix like with the little figure you know with the action figure christ on it yeah that's kind of like washboard abs christ yeah yeah. i had an early kinship with leprechaun (laughs) leprechaun doesn't uh he doesn't work on easter he's Mm -hmm. taking that off that's time for family every Mm -hmm. sunday you know Chris, are you, what does Leprechaun church? give up for Lent? I was literally going to yes. ask that, James. What does he give up for Lent? Killing! <laughs> Chris, are you positing that Jesus hung out with Leprechaun? Is that what you're getting at? No, I'm saying I had an early kinship with the Leprechaun in this movie 
because I laughed very hard when this lady went down the stairs. <laughs> I, we oh, did too. So did I. Her, yeah. her, her neck ball. makes yes. an amazing crunch. God, but I, like, I like at the beginning he doesn't have his powers. Like, I've got to make it look like an accident. <laughs> you know what I mean? In case the yeah. police get involved. And yeah. somehow, yeah, totally. I don't know the spe- like the specifications of Leprechaun's powers, but apparently they include giving an old man a stroke. Like, <laughs> yes. I don't know what, like, I guess, I think that's a thing where, like, one, this dude is totally loaded, right? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. He might have some motion sickness from that limousine ride. His wife was just murdered in front of him. I think it's just too much for this old heart. That's what I, has this stroke, right? That's what I said. Is, that's the version of this I like better is Leprechaun didn't really do anything. It's just this guy was working so hard carrying stuff up and down the stairs <laughs> and he had a heart attack. Oh, that's right. This is after he's dragged his wife's <laughs> yeah, corpse up from the exhausted. basement. He's exhausted. Yeah. And to be fair, maybe Leprechaun's powers are is it to give someone a stroke, but to sense when someone's going to have a stroke. No, because he you does start I mean? talking shit. He does, before he does. It happens. Like, oh, it's yeah. going to happen. It's like, oh, all right, I either. smell me burning toast. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a dog. How a dog can smell when yes, you're like happy. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Animals <laughs> always know. Uh, yeah. So he goes down and also like points off movie. It's completely irrelevant that you're like showing this guy alive like later in the film just let this old bastard be dead well that little trip that trip to the i think somebody like in the middle of the movie is like you know we've been at this house an awful long time (laughs) (laughs) want to go to a nursing home sure okay (laughs) oh it's a nursing home not the hot because i was like do they just go back and forth between the house and the hospital multiple times (laughs) yeah oh yeah we're told at one point it's some like nursing home that they drive to for two seconds yeah and it it means really nothing it's kind of just like another scene for him to scare people yeah, that's when he's like kind of scooting around in the wheelchair and he like shoves that dude in the el- the ceiling of the elevator so that he falls down. Which I don't know. <sighs> like, there's so many inconsistencies <laughs> with like what this what powers are yeah. or whatever, but like, how does he get that guy up there and why there? <laughs> and yeah. how does he like fall through at that moment? He just crashes in on Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. Who I don't even know if we've mentioned no, once. No, we yet. haven't. Oh, right. Yeah, this was much. her motion picture debut. Uh, I guess there was something. If the IMDb trivia is to be believed, and I don't know, of course it's not. But yeah. apparently, like, it claims that Jennifer Aniston for years, like, said that this movie didn't exist. And that, like, <laughs> Warwick Davis was, Warwick Davis was like, no, it definitely fucking existed. Like, and he claimed that, like, for years he'd been pleading with her to acknowledge <laughs> it. And I guess she just said that, like, finally she was like, yeah, but I just thought I was shitty in it. So I didn't like talking about it, it or whatever. It was released on VHS. It's yeah, out it there. Happened. What are you yeah. talking about? <laughs> out, we all know. Everybody My knows. understanding is that she simply wouldn't acknowledge it uh up until i think only a year or two ago she finally (laughs) was like yes i was in leprechaun uh (laughs) but i believe that because i think this was filmed in 91 i think there was a long delay before it's released Mm. so if that's true she's like 20 21 years old she is a baby she's i have a list of celebrities that i think of when i think of you know people we want to interview for the podcast where there's celebrities that are have been in like one horror movie and I want to get them and only talk about that. Like I want to interview her and only talk about this. I also want to interview Jennifer Lopez and only talk about Anaconda, like nothing else. Renee <laughs> like, Zellweger, the fourth uh, Texas the Chainsaw fourth, Yeah, like, Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah, welcome yeah. like so-and-so from Texas Chainsaw 4, Renee <laughs> Zellweger. Like that would be so fun. <laughs> you could do like double up, get her and McConaughey on there. Exactly. Oh, and yeah. Viggo Mortensen. Oh, that's right. And Viggo, He's in the course. third one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, exactly. You could do, what else you could do? Kevin Bacon, Friday the 13th. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, I like a the, solid one. I like the idea of Warwick Davis like just badgering Jennifer Aniston being like <laughs> yeah. acknowledge our child Please together. Please notice made, me, <laughs> senpai. Yeah. I, we I, made a beautiful <laughs> movie together. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what I was wondering <laughs> is if the guy who plays her love interest in this ever like drunk called her a few years yeah. later when yeah, she was yeah, on Friends and just be like, yeah. hey Jennifer, we connected. Because <laughs> like was Friends 93 or was that 94? It was right after. I think it was 94, but like right after. Yeah. So crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That dude maybe still had that phone number, checked to see if it worked and she had definitely moved by the time (laughs) that all happened. He's like, fuck. 
To be fair, she's lucky this movie came out in 93. Like, obviously, there was a long delay or whatever, because Mm -hmm. that's always funny when that happens, when, like, you make a movie, it doesn't go anywhere because nobody cares, and then it becomes a hit, and then it's like, Friends is Jennifer Aniston is Leprechaun. I think of Cabin in the Woods, uh, Chris Hemsworth. Granted, Cabin in the Woods is a a good movie, Mm. but it, it is weird. He's such a weird, small role in that. Yes, yes. it's bizarre later. watching him in that movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would like uh, to think that yeah. Jennifer Aniston was like denying it, denying it, denying it. Someone asked her like a year or two ago and she just saw, she was about to say deny it again. She saw a bright orange shirt <laughs> in the yes. audience oh. and just was like, <laughs> can we yes, talk about that yes, guy's shirt? I did it. Please. I did the movie. I did it. That <laughs> shirt. Yeah. I couldn't, that shirt, honestly, all of the wardrobe in this movie and just the 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 set deck choices like that guy's shirt is so bright the camera like loses the it like the visual data of that guy's body it's so bright and it turns his skin bright orange it's, it's the so sun. upsetting yeah it's the sun it's you cannot look at anything else when it's on screen like you you know that they just told all the actors okay bring like three shirts and that was the best one <laughs> and it was like, all right, nope, this is a Chicago Bulls jersey. Can't use this. I guess we have yeah. this l- bright orange monstrosity. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Derek. <laughs> Everybody else could literally wear garbage because, I mean, it's all going to be there. But well, they, the, the love interest is dressed like Aladdin. He is. He's <laughs> love dressed like Aladdin. This guy actually, speaking of... Um, Speaking of basket case, he looks like Kevin. What the fuck from that? Oh, movie. Dwayne. In oh, that? yeah, Dwayne yes. for sure. He's running down the streets of New York, butt ass naked. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, yeah, that's. Oh, yeah, the famed nudity on Central Park South. I forgot about that. That movie. <laughs> so she's uh, this yeah. like haughty yuppie lady that wants that. Oh, we gotta it, say, Steve. Excuse me. Ten years later. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. oh, yeah. After yes. the O'Grady incident and this fucking four leaf clover song, what 99 cent bin you get that shit out of? <laughs> yes. It was it was written by the guy who made the music for this movie. So okay. it's an original yeah. piece. It is a yeah. leprechaun Ooh. original. And that is you are saving some cash. It's like, I want yeah. you ladies to sound like the chorus. Do it again until you sound like the chorus. <laughs> <laughs> when is Mondo going to put that one out? Ooh, That's what oh, I like that. right. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of people that would buy that. <laughs> We would uh, buy it. I have a, a horror score on vinyl that you guys would appreciate. I have the original Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, Ooh, nice. yeah. Got that. Right. What do I got? Halloween 3, Chud. Got some horror Ooh, scores Chud. on vinyl. Nice. Chopping Mall. Ooh, that's a good Chopping Mall. Chopping Mall is That Chopping Mall yeah. score that's is Dona- Is that Peter Donaggio? What? Chopping Mall. <laughs> what about it? I don't know. I was asking if that was Pino Donaggio. No, it's- that's Chuck Serino. Oh, composer. Chuck Serino. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, Steve, you were saying she's like uh, Jennifer Aniston's like a rich girl in this movie? I guess so. Like, I'm curious why, like, A, how old is she? I assume she's supposed to be like 20 something, early mm. 20s in the movie. Yeah. And she's spending the summer with her dad and she talks about Los Angeles and yep. she wants, and she's like, I, I don't understand what. And is the dad flipping the house? Is that what we're doing? We're doing a house flip? Or no, they're fucking like- living there. That's what's... Okay. A- Listen, this this movie <laughs> features a walk and talk in Leprechaun that kills people by biting and scratching them and shit. But the most unbelievable, confusing part of this movie is what is going on with this house. Because <laughs> yeah. the movie yeah. the movie forgets at one point who even lives in the house. Yeah, it's- and that's yeah. a great question, Steve. Like, are they flipping it or are they living there for the summer? Is, yes. is this her new home permanently? <laughs> I don't know, but I am also concerned about her lack of uh, geographic spatial awareness. Like, where because, are we, Nevada? No, she says, oh. she thinks New they're Mexico. in New Mexico or when New they're Mexico, in North right. Dakota. Those are very different places. Dude, and the dad is just like, uh, don't you mean North North Dakota? And she's like, whatever, it's all the same shit. <laughs> You're like, wait, what do you see you? any Mexican culture around here? <laughs> Jennifer Aniston. There is no fry bread here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wrapped up in the whole paint color scheme because yes. well, not only does she does the father not <laughs> yes. tell her that people are coming by to paint the goddamn house, <laughs> but I, did he pre-select that it would be bright, the <laughs> brightest blue, 
with the brightest red <laughs> shutters possible. It's awful. Because at so first bad. I'm thinking the other, which is another inexplicable part of this movie, is the two other characters that show up, the painters, um, who are I don't know what ages they're supposed to be. I don't know how they're related. I don't know what's I don't know going how they're on. Related. Yeah. But I thought at first, like, oh no, they're painting the house blue because they're they goofed yeah. up. But then no later. They're working on the trim, and yeah, it's this bright red. And then the entire inside, all I could think of to dis- to describe it was clown brothel. Like yes. it's <laughs> it's nasty. Yeah, this it's, is a house where you would pay a clown to have sex with you. Though, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> anyone uh, just, got, oh, anyone no. out there got an address? Yeah, it's like a clown problem. It's like all yeah. primary colors and stripes, and it's awful. It's. I mean, these guys should be fired. I mean, this is why the hunk who like apparently runs the painting business, you shouldn't go into business with a fucking ten year old kid and Chubbs from fucking Teen Wolf, who is yeah. who has a mental disability. We should say that they, yeah. they make a really yeah. point to do it, which I think. I would say the movie doesn't need it. You oh, know? really? Yeah. Think so? <laughs> I think the movie thinks. Take, Steve. I yes. think it thinks it's a natural pairing because it's like, well, Ozzy's mentally impaired, and the the chi- he's got a childlike mind, and Alex yeah. here has a ch- he's a child, so he has a childlike mind. Yeah. He's got a fucking group. serial killer mind. This kid, dude. Yeah. yeah. This kid's freaking yeah. out. This is. Uh, he's oh, I'll little... tell you how to take care of a leprechaun. You fucking you just, shoot him you shoot with him the back fucking head. No you problem. watch him bleed out on your <laughs> shoes. It's like, so <laughs> insane the lines they yeah. give this kid. You know yeah. that guy's fucked up. I mean, he was in this movie. Uh, 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 don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. He's oh, the yeah. little brother in that yeah. movie. Um, Ozzy to me is always Francis from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Uh, sure. yeah, yeah, that's sure. my Which is point. my favorite movie of all time. And I was very excited to see him show up. I think uh, he's great. I just want to give him some credit here because I think this this character, like he's genuinely sweet and you feel really bad for him. Like Jennifer Aniston's on the verge of calling him the R word. This yes, entire movie, yes, yes, man. Definitely. You know, I was shocked it didn't happen. Stunning, right? Yeah. Stunning that that yeah. word's not used. Because this was, I mean, 1991, you're making this movie. Primo time to be slinging yeah, that shit around. Absolutely. Honestly, seven years later, that's coming out. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. it was cut. I think that it was cut for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, wait but, a second, yeah. though, because we're talking about, uh, uh, I just keep calling him Chubbs from Teen Wolf, but uh, <laughs> his character Ozzy in this movie, I saw on IMDb, this dude reprised the role in the most yeah, recent dude, one. In that one yes, that's not bad. Yep. I'm telling you, the 2018 <laughs> sci-fi <laughs> Leprechaun Returns is not bad. Dude, you're going to make, yeah. yeah. make the box. You're going to make the It's going to be yeah. It's not, not that bad, bad. Yes. with it's, the laurels yeah. around yeah, it. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> we looked at 45 poll quotes and that's the best we can do. Uh, wait, so is he talking about the events of the first film? Yeah. He like warns you know what? them. Yeah. I know that Halloween 2018 came out and mm-hmm. was a direct sequel to the first one and now that's the new trend. Leprechaun Returns did that before Halloween. That mm. it is a direct sequel to the first oh, one, featuring oh. Ozzy, and uh, the the lead in it is the daughter of Jennifer Aniston's character here. So oh, wow. it ignores oh, all the the Vegas and space shit, and is a direct sequel to this one. Right. So you don't have yeah. to address how he got back from the moon or whatever. Right? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and how he's maybe technically an alien species. In the fourth one, they never once say the word. They never oh once say oh, There's a planet no. Ireland out there. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Walter you know Bia. that's a Star Trek episode <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> oh no, they're all. Like them. <laughs> Just drink the Jameson and try to blend in. <laughs> I have to say that is the dude O'Grady, not to backtrack, but O'Grady getting out of the limo, pounding the the last yes. bit of a Jameson bottle. And I was like, <laughs> wow, that guy better be careful. The last time I did that, I peed in a closet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, that definitely was like part of the recipe for that horrific stroke, I think, was for I, yeah, yeah, totally yeah, sure. Right. I think he probably peed in Joseph's limo. <laughs> <laughs> I think the big thing to remember about Jennifer Aniston's character is she is a, a, a favorite uh, uh, type of the 90s uh, uh, annoying PC daughter. Yes. yes. She loves Avion water. Avion loves- is always the kind of gag brand for that character where it's yeah. like, oh, she's so snotty. She wants Avion water. And also, yeah. though, not for nothing, a, a watercress salad. Yeah. Also, yeah. same characters are they're drinking and eating the same thing. Uh, but you know what? Yeah. That's LA for you, right? 
You guys I mean, that's do. What yeah. do it. You yeah. You're yeah. in LA. This All is I what eat it's is like. water chestnut salad. Yeah. yeah. Just I, I knew leaves. it. I fucking knew it. And she's we got just, yeah. We're recording this on StreamYard. I can see you guys right now. James is eating a huge bowl of spaghetti. <laughs> 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 he's lying. No, I. Uh, and he's, she's got this big toothy asshole fucking negging her this entire movie. This Dude, guy's I hate an this asshole. Guy. Aladdin. Yeah. yeah he yes. sucks. He's Dude, he looks like, like Kevin Bacon's stunt double. Yes. The character. What are his lines in this? Uh, Truly, he's like, you know how to use one of these with uh, a broom? A broom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or, one or, of my favorite lines of his that is so inexplicable, even in context, is he says something like, I haven't met many guys who are afraid of houses. <laughs> Sir? <laughs> <laughs> like, excuse me? Never met me, dude. Yeah, I'm terrified <laughs> oh. of houses. He also, there's the part where he's like teaching Jennifer Aniston how to paint. Mm-hmm. And she does like uh, two like brush strokes against this <laughs> shingle, and he's like, "Oh my god, you're amazing at this!" <laughs> like <laughs> everyone in this tells Ozzy he's stupid, but it's like you guys, yes, exactly. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> There's All a right. moment where they come out of the house, and Ozzy's covered in paint, and it's just like. So I guess there you go. She's not dumping it on her own body. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. It's, thank goodness for small yeah. favors in this movie. That's uh, true, yeah. I need to confront Eric about something because uh, I was looking on IMDb at some photos. Oh, no, of, thank you. I'm, of, I'm okay. Of, <laughs> of Mark Jones, uh, who directed this film, I think Eric traveled back in time and directed Leprechaun. Look at the picture I just put oh in, in the chat. Yes. It's <gasps> oh, my God. Wait a second. <laughs> That looks is exactly. That, that might that, be you. Oh dude. my god! I think that is that <laughs> actually. I think that is me. <laughs> is that doctored? <laughs> it's him. Uh, and oh I'll, my god! We'll, we'll oh, by the way, else. by the way, he's wearing a hat that says Leprechaun yes, the movie. <laughs> All right. Oh my god! I, I was get just. Hat. <laughs> telling James I wanted to do like the most like obscure like no no we are supposed to be costume where he is Ozzy and I'm the kid with like the red and yellow stripes yeah. and then Eric you can be Mark Jones with yeah. the plaid yeah. and the hat I could even try to do this pose he's doing here yeah. <laughs> it's him uh, giving Jennifer Aniston direction on the set uh, they're they're on stairs they're having a conversation probably about leprechauns I would imagine mm-hmm. sure um, yeah sure. or painting a hat House. I don't we know, are going to post other. this. I'm emailing this to myself so I remember. I, we yes. have to post this. It's like, yeah, sure, Mark. Okay, yeah, got it. <laughs> <laughs> What's cool uh-huh. too is like his main photo is him old, so I can see what I'm going to be. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, go, there you go. You don't need one of those face apps, dude. Right there, <laughs> uh, Mark. I don't know why you keep on bringing up the importance of leprechaun cum. <laughs> I don't know why you keep on and the genitalia too. I I, I don't need to know that for my character. <laughs> what about Irish babies? What are you talking about, Mark? Why are you talking about Irish babies? <laughs> He's talking about Mark, Irish really? Irish twins specifically. Got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, every night. That's right. Uh, oh, question again about this house. Clear out that fucking basement. I mean, I know yeah. it's not a question, but clear out that fucking basement. What do we do? That and also this dad. What is this dad's problem? He's moving in this house. They're going to sleep there. The cobwebs have not been cleared out. This set design well, here just makes no fucking sense. So, so you just really want to crazy. unleash the leprechaun? If he had swept it up, the leprechaun would be out already. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking write your movie better. It's stupid. I just realized that the dad never sees the leprechaun ever. Like, he's going to come yeah. back from the hospital after staying there to get some stitches, question mark. And then it's this, like, so we exploded the well in the front yard because there was a leprechaun. <laughs> yeah, that dude disappears from this movie. It's ridiculous. Yeah. The ambulance goes to the edge of movie town and he dis- he vanishes. Uh-huh. Yeah. You don't, they never even say, like, yeah, they never say, like, oh, they kept him overnight for observation or whatever. They, I mean, it's no. a bite. No, they, de- a, they definitely do. Do they say yeah. that? She does. I, she says that and it gets him out of the movie. And I think it's because foolishly they decided that aside from the, the prologue of this film, it's a one crazy night movie. Mm-hmm. And you got too many people running around not able to capture this leprechaun. And also, like, we're not really concerned about a kill count here. So it's like, keep the kill count super low. Get this dad out of here. Because otherwise, like, you just got, there's just a bunch of fucking extra weight on this movie. Kill the dad. Yes. Oh, yeah. Kill yeah. the dad. Kill, kill the, the dad. 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 Kill, kill the dad. Yeah, no, like we're that trying guy. to hip- hypnotize our younger listeners. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you why they can't bring him back, though, is because the other thing that can kill that leprechaun is that orange shirt. 
Mm. Yes. Oh, right. It sets him ablaze immediately. I, I thought it looked a little more red when I saw it, but maybe my eyes. It's a know. burnt red orange, I think. Yeah, I think yeah. it's kind it's of kind between. Of, it's like uh, Joaquin Phoenix and her a little bit. Yes. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. Totally, totally, totally. You uh, know, I, I could do yeah. a leprechaun setting if you want. I could sound like a leprechaun. It's <laughs> my Scarlett Johansson impression. You're dating your leprechaun? <laughs> You're dating your leprechaun. He goes to Rooney Mara like, yeah, I, I, I'm okay, okay? It's me and the leprechaun. Yeah, everyone has a leprechaun, but you're dating your leprechaun? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, whatever they, uh, who goes down to the basement here? Is this Ozzie. Chubbs? Ozzie, yeah. Ozzie, yeah. Ozzie, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's also kind of hilarious. We didn't mention this, but like when Mr. O'Grady is trying to kill this guy, he's got the, he's got him in the crate. He nails the crate shut and puts the, the four leaf clover on top of it. And then like dumps a bunch of gasoline, but does not stay conscious long enough to yeah. light that fuse. So also, like, if we're not cleaning this basement, there's just open gasoline containers everywhere. Mm-hmm. Very dangerous. Mm-hmm. Very dangerous. This Probably guy smells fucking... good, though. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Gas yeah, smells good. I love that smell, man. Smell I do, good. too. We're like, not a joke, though. Yeah. yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> that movie, Love Lies. Lo- what was it, Chris? Love, love Lies? Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. Gets me every time. I'm like, I want to <laughs> live that way. Huffing gas in that movie yeah. left and right. Yeah. I mean, Tempt- it's... Since Temptation it's like, Street for Eric. <laughs> We've gone to, to horror nights twice at Universal already to like film stuff and they run around with chainsaws there. It just the entire park smells like gasoline. Yeah, really? It, Ooh, it smells so good. Right, right afterwards, they should do a Love Liza tour or something. <laughs> yeah. I, I genuinely thought you were about to say that they have a Love Liza Philip Seymour Hoffman guy at, at the <laughs> yeah, Halloween Yeah, it's nights. one of the stops on the tram. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty good, though. Uh, one of those like open-air horror things that just smells like gas, because otherwise, Lord knows what it smells like there, to be completely honest. Yeah, yeah. Sweat very, fear. Very yep. sweaty. Indeed. <laughs> Sweat, fear, and more sweat. Uh, uh, yeah. So, oh, so the whole thing too is like she is fucking busting this dad's balls about how shitty this house is. She can't even believe it. She's gonna stay at a hotel in town. All this stuff, and this dude is like ready to go. He's like, all right, you know what? You've made fun of me long enough. We're gonna go to a hotel now. But then when she notices like this dude Nathan, she's like, oh no. No, I'll stay here, Dad. Don't worry mm-hmm. about it. This dude, this Dad's totally fucking clueless as to what's going yeah. on. Yeah, there's a great line of dialogue in that exchange that he got a great buy on the house, and she says, "From who? Dracula?" Adam. <laughs> <laughs> there's also a tarantula down there. Yeah, <laughs> yes. legit tarantula. Looking like arachnophobia down there, just <laughs> totally. like very specific, just like just you know, just so tarantula, like the mm-hmm. perfect spot. Yeah, it's very <laughs> deliberate. I, I also can't tell if she decides to stay out of uh, having a crush on this dude or if she wants to prove him wrong that she's afraid of the house. I, I, I can't tell either way. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's, like a a fun, a little it's a little flirty, a little, but also like, I'm not afraid of nothing. I'm 26 years old. Like, yeah, you doesn't. Also, the end to most horror movies could and should be is like, you want to just go to a hotel? Yeah, let's do that. That's that yeah. is literally, <laughs> yeah, that's always idea. the answer. When, it's always a great idea. One of my favorite things in this is when she's on the phone with the hotel at first, she goes, give me, yeah, I want uh, really tall ceilings. And <laughs> she's like, give me your tallest room. <laughs> like, give me your tallest room, <laughs> sir. Like, is that a excuse request? Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> like, I know you can request to be on like a higher floor. Sure. At first, that's, yeah. what, yeah. that's what I thought she room. meant. <laughs> but yeah, I need your cathedral ceiling room, please. Yeah. Well, nice. in. I do love that she has a portable phone in 1991. So. Yes, <laughs> that she you, calls her portable. Yeah. Oh yeah. You better believe she says portable. My portable. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And it's like this huge red fucking brick. Oh, it's mm-hmm. great. I just want alternate cuts where everybody just goes to a hotel. The conjuring ends immediately. <laughs> they just like, oh yeah, gonna, this kind of sucks. You want to just go to a hotel for? Yeah. Okay. And then the movie's over. The, Dude, the there you go. Everywhere. It was short film, right? Because after <laughs> the third one, we shouldn't be making any more of them. But. <laughs> You fucking do Conjuring 4, fuck it. And it's just like the two of them go to a house, there's a ghost, fuck it. And they go to a Best Western. That's Mm -hmm. the end of the movie. It'd be totally great. That's definitely what Ellen Burstyn should do in The Exorcist. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Uh, Recap it, honey. 
Mm-hmm. So like in Jennifer Aniston's like attempted flirting with this dude who's like being nice with him, he's like down doing something in the basement and whatever it is, it's not clearing out the cobwebs because they are there for this whole film. But she goes down with like this tray of iced tea and it's like, uh, uh-uh. I'm not drinking any open containers while down there. The <laughs> dust that's getting in. No. no, no, no. Come up here and have this iced tea. And instead she fucking gets spooked. I think maybe by that spider. And spills the iced tea all over the leprechaun, which is kind of hilarious. That's like, <laughs> yeah, his like, wake up call is getting douched with raspberry iced tea. <laughs> also, he's been sleeping for ten years, and like, it, like some some glasses is what wakes him up. I don't yeah, know. yeah, that's weird. Like, yeah. you, you didn't wake up when the fucking house hunters came and filmed the dad looking at this piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Must haves include a spooky basement and really and tall ceilings, <laughs> close to downtown. <laughs> They all want to be close to downtown on that show. And I'm like, oh, yeah. fuck you. You're moving to the suburbs. Like, that's mm-hmm. your choice. You want to be close to downtown? Stay in the city, you idiot house And he looks, around, he looks around. You know, it's not really uh, painted like Superman's house. Well, it could be painted like <laughs> Superman's house. <laughs> if you wanted it, sir. That's you just have to cosmetic. imagine yourself yeah. here. Yes. <laughs> it's just a cosmetic change. Sir, you're really going to have to take that shirt off before you go on screen. It's just blaring out the colors. We, we yeah. Yeah. Our, yeah. our camera guy can't do anything here, man. you got to button that shit up. competing with the red and blue house. <laughs> we have a nice white button up for you, sir. <laughs> I also love Ozzy speaking of bright colors. Like, there's some funny business with the paint. And he totally does a David Cross, I blew myself. Like, mm-hmm. this dude just covered in bright blue paint. God damn, that's embarrassing. <laughs> The, he's got the, like a circus outfit on too. They're all dressed like a circus. <laughs> no, he's got paint overalls yeah. over a button up red shirt. Again, bright red with a bunch of little paint brushes on it. He's dressed for the part. Yeah. So the part where <laughs> three, it's guys three guys who paint, 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 even though one of the company. guys is a 10 year old <laughs> and another is friggin'. Like, I don't even know. So I don't know what's Aussie, up with that. We got to talk. Cause like, is he supposed to be an, an adult? Cause they refer to Ozzy and the other kid as, as like kids. Yeah. They're like, Oh, they're, but, they're kids. They're out yeah. on the town doing kids stuff. It's when Ozzy mind. is clearly like 30 years old. Yeah, yeah. It's the mind of a child. That's all. Oh, no. And yeah. I, I don't yeah. know, man. I, Cause we, the relationship is, I think, Alex is uh, Toothy Man's little brother, like the, the hunky dude. That That's makes his the bro- most sense. That's Wait, but hang on a second. Hang that. on a second, though. Oh, Chelsea, they do. Chelsea okay. are you wondering, though, if Ozzy <laughs> in this movie is like a uh, fucking Martin Short? In Clifford? <laughs> I just told her about that movie. She didn't I know, know about I've it. I've never oh, seen oh it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. I know. Good movie. I know. I'm serious. I think Martin Short is really scary. I have, like, a weird irrational. <laughs> she is Martin Short averse. I think he's, so. um, I, I, I find him very upsetting. You will be terrified that. of that movie, then, because yeah. he's yeah. aged down, and he's yeah, running no. around with the fucking mm-hmm. leprechaun on I love, I love yeah, it. Yeah, you're Charles right. Charles Grodin is a great foil for that. Yeah, he should, he he should oh, have been in a no. leprechaun movie. He does he does behave very leprechaun esque though, Steve. You're totally right. Mm-hmm. The the Alex Ozzy relationship to me was much more of a, a George Lenny. It's yes. very George and Lenny. Yeah, yeah. Alex yeah. being the George and then Ozzy, poor Ozzy being the Lenny. And this kid will yeah. shoot this kid, the guy in the back of the fucking Absolutely. head. This is all he needs yep. is a fucking magnum, yeah. dude. <laughs> yep. yeah. He's but just waiting for like someone to give the word. Of- <laughs> yeah, not even out of like a we like a, a really upsetting empathy. It just be like just to see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you took the words right out of my mouth. Just yeah. to see what happens. I'll fix me. your fucking brain. Yeah, I'll give you a new brain. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is weird. I was just thinking about this, like thinking about this scene because Jennifer Aniston is like, "Oh, you're covered in paint. Like you can go, you know, use the shower and whatever." It is because she is like she's such a massive fucking celebrity, right? It's weird watching her in this, like, just interact with nobodies. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's very yes. weird watching her interact with nobodies, I feel. Yeah, it's weird. There, I, I'm trying to think of other celebrity words, like, movies like this where you watch and you're like, this. it just feels weird to watch them being... And how many of them have that friend's money, you know? Yes, like, oh, totally. Like, right, exactly. Yeah. Jennifer Aniston, huge. Totally. Because and- even, like, Kevin Bacon, you know, being in that first Friday the 13th movie, like, I don't think Kevin Bacon's got friends money. 
No, no. I mean, no. I and he Kira was also in like okay, Tremors. And he's stuff. fine. Like yeah. he's yes. been in like genre yeah. stuff. Yes. That's no. the thing. Like it was such a a one to two leap for for her. Really. Yeah. Like mm. although Steve, she was on that sketch show we were watching a little bit of last night, which I actually thought was kind of cool. What I watched of it. Uh, it's the called Edge, the, right? The Edge it was like a it was like white in living color, like Fox's. <laughs> oh, like, oh boy. Yes, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's, it was like <laughs> an edgy sketch show around that time. Like, mm-hmm. uh, did they have a black Jim Carrey? They, they, they did. They, yeah. they, they, only one black guy. Uh, it's a bunch of white people. It was Tom Kenny and Mr. Show, Jill Talley and Mr. Show, Jen oh, Branson, wow. Julie Brown was like the lead kind Ooh. of a thing. And yeah. okay. uh, Wayne Knight is messing around in there. A little oh, Alan yeah. Ruck yeah. for you folks. Alan oh Ruck. Oh my gosh, Alan Ruck. Alan Ruck, oh. who's a player in this company on that show. Not good enough to make the opening credits of The Edge, I guess. <laughs> wow. And uh, Tom Kenny, I'm seeing. Yeah, Tom Kenny. SpongeBob. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not. I mean, look, I was surprised it held up even at all. Uh, it's not great, but it was. I was laughing on YouTube a what, little bit. Was yeah. it supposed to be edgy? Was that yes, the whole thing? it was. Like ah, it, the okay. the bit is every. Uh, they start every episode by the whole cast uh, is talking to you, and they get murdered in some sort of a way, and it's like, yeah. oh, that's kind of uh-huh. something, you know. And it's it's oh. edgier, you know. Well, but, you know, yeah, looking I at mean, the one. Looking at when the one season ran, this would have been after Jennifer Aniston filmed Leprechaun before it came out. So I bet her entire experience on the show was dread thinking about this movie. Waiting out. for the time bomb of Leprechaun's release. Yeah. Can we, I mean, the, the opening sketch that I watched was them being like, oh, yeah, like we heard all your like we, we got your letters from last week or whatever. And trust us, like the problem has been solved. And Jennifer Aniston or someone says like, oh, well, what? What problem is that, Wayne Knight? And he's like, the big knife or the sword or something like yes. that. And there, and Jennifer Anderson says, what sword? And mm-hmm. the gag is a sword falls from the ceiling and decapitates all of them. And like, what? you see it. Like, hap- like there's just like puppet dummies of them on stage <laughs> gushing blood. This it's incredible. Awesome. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're we're definitely overselling it by a lot, but yeah. um, but yeah, they I'm also pumped. they got into some fucking hot soup with Aaron Spelling because they had a recurring re- a recurring uh, sketch about nine hundred two and zero where they just made fun of Tori Spelling nonstop. And he <laughs> oh boy, he threatened yeah. to sue them. That's cool. <laughs> um, speaking of people uh, of stars of this movie, uh, anyone? I didn't look at the special thanks, but according to IMDb. Yep. Uh, Warwick Davis, uh, George Lucas received a special thanks credit yep. because Warwick Davis was <laughs> under contract to him and he gave Davis permission to film in the movie. Yep. W- w- yeah. Yeah, I'm just buying all the little people that have been <laughs> in my movies, man. I make them sleep in my fucking garage, dude. <laughs> I bought I'm him a little stunned. cot for the vault I have for him. He lives in a vault. <laughs> oh, Sometimes Warwick. I like to see an Ewok making my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Warwick, I suppose you can star in a movie, although there is a birthday party that Wicket needs to appear in this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can squeeze that in, may, and also a special thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, and uh, forty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Did you catch the second special thing? You can tell us that. That is amazing. Uh, Vice President Dan Quayle. Oh yes, is, literally. That's I, how it is listed. I posted Vice a President picture Dan on my Quayle. Twitter last night. Did he write it? Uh, <laughs> no. So apparently, well, th- uh, that would be wonderful. He apparently. Uh, helped expedite Warwick Davis's work visa to come work in the United States Whoa, to make wow. this. Yeah. Wow. I thought it was going to be like a potato connection. I was going to say like, like the this, salmon and this is him making up for that. His yeah, like right. penitence yeah. to the yeah. Irish. But <laughs> I'll Chris, help get leprechaun made. <laughs> that's why he couldn't write the screenplay though, Kevin, because it'd be fucking yeah, exactly. riddled with spelling yeah. errors. <laughs> <laughs> Ask your grandparents who Dan Quayle is. Indeed. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. So so this is, Tubbs is down in the basement, or Ozzy. Oh, man, I am just going to yeah, keep calling Francis. His, yeah. <laughs> what, he's, this guy's played so many classic or characters. Or John Wayne Gacy. Or That's, John, exactly. Oh, yeah. Or John Wayne Gacy. Right. Yeah. Ooh, fuck. Uh, yeah, so he's down in that basement. This is where he starts hearing the leprechaun is singing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. And the the leprechaun escapes right here. What happens? He knocks the crate over or some shit. Yeah, he just busts out of there pretty much. And he knocks the four oh, that's leaf clover right. off of it. Oh, Ozzie, that's right. Ozzy yeah. knocks the four leaf clover off of it. So now he's not. I guess it's like if a four leaf clover is on top of this box, it's like a million pounds to this leprechaun. Like you yes. can't move it. I guess <laughs> yeah. is the for, idea. For ten years, wouldn't it be like dust at this point? 
They show yeah, it's all like dark. blackened brown, and basically yeah. dust. So yeah, yeah okay. I don't know. Yeah, yeah like no- how far does that go? Like if it's all dead and it starts crumbling to like when does it stop being a four leaf? Yeah, <laughs> we need to know when like magic runs out of certain objects. <laughs> yeah, that's true. There's well, never you know been what? a windstorm in North Dakota in the last what ten years. <laughs> Just never yeah. happened. Never Either got way, windy. this screenplay is not going to do the work to tell you any of that. So don't worry about it. Uh, so this is like. Yeah, Warwick Davis kind of threatens him here a little bit, and then he has to go out and like tell everybody. And of course, they don't believe him because he's Ozzy and he's the quote unquote simple guy. And which and I whatever. guess is the point of making him simple. That's like it is like to keep this illusion alive. Because so that, that like, you could be outsmarted by a leprechaun. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I, for yeah. when he has to do shit like, oh, and there's a rainbow. Let's yeah. go, everybody. It's a magic <sighs> rainbow. Yeah, it's a magic rainbow. <laughs> but he uh, was right. See, that's the yeah. thing. Like this, this, the you know the children see everything more pure men with child minds such as myself see things more pure <laughs> <laughs> i've always said you were the purest one on this podcast <laughs> Thank you. it's very true it's very true put down the I rabbit just, eric <laughs> yeah like why not just have it be that the kid sees him and no one believes because the yes. kid is a precocious kid yeah and by the way as far as precocious kids go i usually Oof. hate him i don't mind he's Alan. not the no. worst he's still uh, a disgusting shit boy thank you Eric. <laughs> thank you Eric. <laughs> term we've coined on the show as far as disgusting shit boys go he's not the worst <laughs> no he's not such a, i mean he goes so yeah ozzy like nobody believes him there's this whole long scene where everyone goes down uh, and they keep doing this. We're like, oh, it's that rat. That's what a leprechaun was. And Ozzy has to be like, <laughs> yeah. do you think I would come upstairs and think a fucking three inch rat is the same thing as a fucking man wearing a hat? Sure. A tiny man <laughs> with an Irish accent. Wearing a hat. I know that I have some issues. I know the difference between a tiny man wearing a hat and a fucking rat. Okay. Yeah. There's rats running around going <laughs> like, and eating fucking garbage. And then there's this fucking tiny dude dressed all in green that tells me he's got a fucking shoe fetish. <laughs> <laughs> they keep doing this too, right? Because like when she gets her leg felt up and then yes. scratched yes. by the leprechaun, it's just like, oh, it was just a cat. That was and a And she rat. goes, this no, dad, I know what it feels like to get felt up, okay? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you and know that- what? When that guy <laughs> has that line, or when she has that line, Jennifer Aniston, that guy needs you that do? line. The fuck did you say? He does what do is like that? A, he does do like a, you do? <laughs> yeah. You, you, you do? It's but to that point, Eric, do. they do say the exact same line both times. They're like, I think we found your leprechaun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. I think we found your, your possum. Like, oh, or yeah, whatever thank the fuck. you. <laughs> so they fought, you know, uh, Ozzy and, and Andy, is Alex rather, uh, yeah. you know, they follow this rainbow. Okay. And uh, it leads them to this like beat up old truck and they look inside and uh oh, this is where Mrs. Mr. O'Grady has hidden uh, the leprechaun's sack of gold 10 years back. And this is where this kid is like, oh, great, Ozzy, we should get this gold appraised because this way we can afford to have surgery done on you so you can yes, be smarter dudes fuck? take this out of this fucking this movie right now setting scene where honestly like ozzy again it's like you know what i was mentioning earlier is like i think his performance here is heartbreaking because yeah. he's like well i'm smart these, yeah. these two are selling this scene as well they, as they can they possibly honestly do. Yeah. Yeah. i mean the guy plays playing ozzy he might be the best actor in this movie he, oh, I think he, he genuinely is. He definitely yeah. is. Especially yeah. since, again, like to me, he's always going to be Francis from Pee Wee's Big yep. Adventure, who is like the least empathetic piece of shit ever. <laughs> and I, that was like a couple years, or no, that was a few years before this. That so was I 85. Just, that was 85. Yeah. yeah. So wow, I just, yeah. I just, I don't know. He's really good. <laughs> but it's kind of <laughs> funny because later in the movie, uh, I, I don't know if it's Jennifer, someone says to Alex, they're like, hey man, what the fuck are you talking about? You can't have like, he can't have surgery and be smarter. And he's like, yeah, I know. Yeah, he, like, well, he doesn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> but like, why would you tell that to this guy? He has fucking hopes up about this. It's and also, cool. you, you break his heart immediately. Like, you need surgery, you fucking moron. He's like, do I? And then, yeah. then when you know it's not even possible. Yes, and then he says, yeah, because then people won't make fun of you anymore. And he's like, wait, people make fun of me? <laughs> well, yeah, not to your face, idiot. Oh. Bye. <laughs> just leave. Oh, yeah, man. they just fucking pieces how I'm honestly like, oh. oh my God. Everyone hates me, okay. I, I, I've I, written all these instances down for you. Would you like me to go over them for you <laughs> and i just, got them and something i've learned in therapy everyone's making fun of you all the time behind your back you just have to accept it you know what yep. i mean like yep. every time you leave a room everyone's making fun what? of you and it's okay <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry, oh, Eric. Yeah, it's heartbreaking. <laughs> I'm fine. You know I'm what? Once I get the, the surgery on my brain, <laughs> exactly, everything's gonna be fine. Flowers for Eric Siska. That's my, <laughs> my new short story. Might be nice um, to get something. <laughs> also, so well, this is well, yeah. oh, oh, Grady is like, yeah. oh, I, I, I hit it, baby. When he comes back to the leprechaun, like I hit it really good. You put it in a in an abandoned car, like I don't. I mean, I guess this is a pre opioid crisis, but someone's been sleeping and shitting in there, rooting around. Someone <laughs> has found your gold, like years ago. I don't yeah. know, man. I have to say, I mean, this is North Dakota. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, in so what should this be? Like the early eighties, right when this prologue takes place. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know, what was there like? 500 people living in the state <laughs> you yeah, can probably yeah. get away with having an abandoned car on your property and no one's like pissing or fucking in it also lest we forget that bag of gold is not visible at first it like oh, right, it yeah. pops in with uh, oh. amazing 1992 graphics Ooh, uh, just yeah. with a little sound effect i don't know what triggers it i guess them going to the end of a rainbow but proximity i think it's yeah. maybe like a belief that where it's like we think there's gonna be something at the end of the rainbow uh, so then there is kind of like the clover at the end where it's like yeah. if you believe in a four leaf <laughs> you'll find Ooh. one. Oh yeah it's that purity of heart thing yeah Dude, the end of this movie with the fucking clap if you believe in fairies from peter <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck Absolutely. out of here with that shit <laughs> so but, dumb but i mean to 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 see point like yeah at least raccoons have bread in this <laughs> next to your bowl oh, definitely <laughs> like yeah. you know different animal yeah. pisses and the, shits uh, are around here it's the fucking uh marge opens the emergency thing on the monorail over <laughs> yeah. yeah awesome's living in here you're fine bitey in there yeah, exactly <laughs> well yeah with all that uh animal piss and shit there then uh probably Ozzy probably shouldn't be sticking it in his mouth like uh, that's oh, oh yeah, yeah oh, just bite dude. on it oh. i saw it in a cartoon once <laughs> Uh-huh. And then he eats it by accident, which becomes a huge yeah. uh, sort of plot, plot point. Oh, yeah. it's, a, it's a massive fucking plot point. That plot point makes this movie 15 minutes longer, by the way. It, it is followed up in Leprechaun Returns. That that gold really? coin being in his stomach is oh. a plot point. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Man. Did he get stomach cancer? That's for all the real (laughs) fans, okay? They remember. You're going to force me to watch this thing. (laughs) Leprechaun 2, scene one, interior, uh, biker bar bathroom. Ozzy's taking a painful shit. It's like the beginning of Uncut Gems. (laughs) (laughs) Amazing. Is it yeah, you second? don't you you don't have uh, colon cancer, sir. You have an, an enchanted uh, <laughs> coin up your ass. <laughs> hey, leprechaun! I told you not to lean on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> Leprechaun can't reach the counter. Dude. That's, That's true. He's trying to hop up there. That's Those the two guys that harass him on the street might be leprechauns. Kevin oh, Garnett. Yep. Kevin Garnett set uh, uh, played for the Boston Celtics in that movie. It all there connects. Go. There it is. Ooh, it all makes go. sense. You're totally right, though, Eric. Those two dudes that are like friends with the Safties or whatever yeah. that are in Uncut mm-hmm. Gems. Those, those creepy looking guys. If they're not leprechauns, they're some sort of mythical creature. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm they are sure. some kind of fae. Yes. They have like, <laughs> like hooves or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, so while that's going on, this is where this dude is teaching Jennifer Aniston how to paint a house, and he's like fucking blown away that she can hold a paintbrush. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, oh, go get some of our super bright blue paint cans out of the back of the <laughs> truck and this is where she's the leprechaun again because his fucking shoe and leg fetish here he's starts like rubbing up on her and tickling her and like i don't know jennifer aniston four seconds ago you turned around (laughs) and that dude was like behind you like 10 feet away and then she's like oh my god oh oh you're tickling my leg what are you doing under there and i'm like Clearly, it's not that guy. Well, what a bizarre way to flirt. I'm, oh, I like yeah. this girl. I'm going to go under the car and grab at her leg. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. You, wait, whoa, whoa. I'm the only guy that did that? <laughs> <laughs> Climbed under trucks and fondled yeah. calves? Let's, yeah. like, Dude. <laughs> let's chroma key out your dad's house and then I'll go hide under this truck. <laughs> like... <laughs> Sexy stuff, man. Sexy yeah. stuff. I, I don't know what to tell you. I really like fondling Achilles heels. <laughs> <laughs> so like the leprechaun like scratches her leg or whatever and she starts screaming and everything. And she says, I thought that was you rubbing my leg, to which this dude replies, and you let me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Which is a little more accusatory. Like that delivery, it's not great. We should have gone again and it should have been like, and you let me. And you let me. Yeah. You know? yeah. It's like, 
it's, say. It's yeah. all negative, dude. That's the move. Is he has to pretend that he hates <laughs> her guts, and then eventually it's all going to work out. What I kind guess. of what kind of hussy are you letting some guy grab your legs under the car? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then also in this very same scene is where the dad hilariously thinks he's like going after a cat and like sticking his <laughs> arm in a hollowed out tree that <laughs> fell down. And this leprechaun just bites his hand. It is fucking hilarious. One of my favorite shots in this whole movie is through this tree where it's like the hole and yes. leprechauns back there like. <laughs> it's like licking yeah. his lips. Yeah. You're getting a taste of that hand. And it just looks like you're looking through a telescope, but like yep. so through the weird. wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> so now actually, now I'm thinking about this. George Lucas got a special thanks. Did he get a VHS tape? And how long did he watch it is the question. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it's probably I, at that moment when he's like, hey, hey, yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm fine. I got it. That's enough, stuff. man. I fucking got it. <laughs> I, wonder if Jennifer, I wonder if Jennifer Aniston ever was like, Huh, George Lucas got a special thanks on this. I'm going to see how he got rid of that Star Wars Christmas special. <laughs> see if he can help me out here. <laughs> uh, you know what, though? Here's the thing. She's definitely seen this movie like five times. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. I, I she's so. definitely. Sure. She's if it's getting, one of you know her what? earlier movies, dude, I think, yeah. yeah. It's, her first, it's her first ever movie. Like, she has this. Like, she definitely has it. Because, like, this is a huge moment in your life. Like, yeah. You know, whatever you might think you're not great in it, and it is a horror movie called Leprechaun, so you're only gonna get so much quality. But it's your first thing. Like she has this it's, tape somewhere in her house. Yes, but it's in a vault with like her the latest draft of her will. Like it's, it's not <laughs> out for people to be seeing. Oh, dude, yeah, fucking release this upon my death, right? Because <laughs> she's still and ten thinks, years after, just to make sure. Yeah, yeah. she thinks it still hasn't been released. So she's exactly. like, that's hey, right. Ten yeah, years yeah. after I die, it may come out. She's like, oh, oh hey, God, Courtney yeah. Cox, I'm doing the day the clown cried thing, but with Leprechaun, <laughs> right? Because that's never coming out, right? Would that be cool on the kill count, folks? The day the clock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ! Yeah, what if what if Jennifer Aniston has enough? Like all that friends money has, she lives in like a fake world where everyone around her, it's like some Truman show kind of stuff where everyone pretends like, oh yeah, no one has seen <laughs> yes. this. Yeah, yeah. Oh no yeah. No one knows what Leprechaun mm-hmm. is. Oh, isn't it so weird that horror franchise Leprechaun that starts with Leprechaun 2? <laughs> isn't that so yeah, bizarre? That's, what a weird thing. <laughs> it's impossible to find that first one. <laughs> Didn't you love Lisa Kudrow in Leprechaun? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, shit, dude. Alternate dimension where Lisa Kudrow got her start there. Absolutely. I mean, I I just imagine that she has bought she bought as many tapes, DVD like and they put it on Blu-ray, too. And she does like a Scrooge McDuck. (laughs) <laughs> die into these tapes and DVDs and everything. So you say every she's getting them off the street. Yeah, you think is what's yeah, going but on. But then she- accidentally financed the rest of the front of the franchise. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's, that's how right. they made that direct that's sequel. Shit. They killed like Fuck. when when all like blockbusters and VHS stores went under. Everybody thought it was you know Netflix and everything. It was just her buying all these tapes. <laughs> I, I've also always wondered if Courtney Cox has ever teased her about the horror movies they've been in. Cause like Courtney Cox was in scream, which is fantastic. Oh, yes. yeah. It's just like, Oh yeah. Hey Jen, uh, what horror movie were you in again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this guy goes to the hospital and they're like, all right, we have to, we have to rush to the hospital. They all, everyone climbs in together. Cause I guess, and I think it's a great idea that uh teethy hunks a lot. Won't leave <laughs> Ozzy alone with this kid for too long. It's like, no, Ozzy, why don't you come with me? You know what I mean? Everyone, everyone could pile in the car together we got enough room (laughs) you know and uh so they go there and ozzy and the kid they hide the gold in the uh what do you call it there the the well and they want to go to the store to get it appraised i guess is the idea yes the The collect collectible joe collectibles or whatever his name is (laughs) anybody uh i mean probably not anybody recognize this guy oh god i did not no John Volstad, he was on uh, New Heart. He was the other brother, Daryl. Ask your great grandparents about New Heart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but that was the bit was they would come in. It was him and another guy. And the other guy would go, I'm Daryl. And this is my other brother, Daryl. And he was other brother, Daryl. Was this guy Darryl. working in the store? Yeah. The only reason I'm familiar with that reference is because it was in a Bloodhound Gang song. It said something <laughs> about your brother, Daryl, and your other brother, Daryl. And I right. never knew what it was until this moment when you there said you that. I was like, that's what that's from. I knew Dude. that from Animaniacs for the same reason. There was a Daryl, Daryl, and Daryl thing. I think Daryl oh, had. Yes, I remember one. that too. Yes. yes. 
Sad hey, I have to say, New Heart, man, check it out. It's <laughs> fucking comedic genius. <laughs> Both shows are good. Is there that, yeah, the that, Bob Newhart show. Was that New Heart or, or the Bob Newhart show? Bob Newhart show was in Chicago and yeah, New Heart did, was in Vermont. And yes, then one of did, them ended with it yes, being revealed yes. that it was a dream from the other guy. I think yes. the Vermont yeah. one ended with him waking up in, uh, in with Chicago. the wife of the Chicago. Yes. Which they right. then did a playoff with Breaking Bad. After that ended, they had a little sketch <laughs> yes. with uh, uh, Brian Cranston waking yeah. up as Hal being like, oh, I just had a horrible night. Dude, I don't know how much this is a bit. Obviously, that last part was, but what the fuck? No, what? no that was real. <laughs> huh? That was all real. Don't worry, don't worry <laughs> Chelsea. The one person listening in a, in a hospice right now is yeah. loving this material. <laughs> Oh, finally, they're talking Mr. about it. Mr. O'Grady's loving this. Episode. Yes, he is. No, but James, you're totally right. I don't remember where that aired, though, but I, I've seen that. Yeah, that was a thing. Yeah. They brought back, uh, uh, I forget the actress's name, who played uh, his wife. Yeah, oh, what, uh, Jane. Um, oh, Jane Kasmerak. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know they did that. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the milk in the middle. Yeah, I'm a huge milk in the middle stan. Oh, yeah. yeah? We were just it's, ragging it's on so Frankie good. Muniz uh, last week, as man. <laughs> His Twitter's <laughs> amazing. Race car driver, Frankie Muniz. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh huh. Oh, speaking of tiny race cars, just like Leprechaun, he drives a little tiny. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, he finds yeah. A, a car that <laughs> works at the antique store. Is it an oh. antique store? Is it a pawn shop? I was confused the by pawn it. Shop, it's like yeah. a call, yeah, a pawn yeah. shop. Has yeah. anyone ever pawned anything? Because I tried it, it was rejected once. Oh, really? No. <laughs> Dude, what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. They pawn people will take like the most degenerate fuckers <laughs> and like whatever they got, bring it in me. You yeah, got you- rejected from one of those people? I literally I had an iPod nano that I was like, I was a oh, generation well, that at sense. that point. And I was like, <laughs> I'm kind of a little down on my luck. Better pawn this iPod. <laughs> iPod Nano, and I did, and the guy was like, "I was like, what he? I was like, I know it's not going to be much. What, I, I'll take whatever you got." He's like, "I don't want it." I was like, oh, oh man. Yeah, he could oh, not no. take it. Yeah, eat said, shit, Steve. <laughs> I did that week. That's all I had. <laughs> yeah. yeah, had to eat shit to survive. <laughs> Dude, I gotta say this. Uh, so they go, they go to the the pawn shop, and the guy's like, "All right, well, I'll take a look at this or whatever. I, I'll let you know tomorrow." The kid is like. Keep it under wraps. Don't tell anybody. (laughs) And they leave. (laughs) And then so Leprechaun is there. And dude, this guy is such a biter. But like he bites this guy and it's pretty close to the crotch. Pretty awesome. He fucks this dude up. (laughs) He really does. I like that this guy, by the way, has a book that's it's like antique coins of Ireland. Like, dude, <laughs> good thing you had that. Yeah, yeah. wow. It you is... came to the right pawn shop. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very small pawn shop. Not a lot of books. Not a lot of stuff one. in there, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he the bites best his... pawn shop in North Dakota. <laughs> This is when he starts driving around his vehicle. How does he kill this guy ultimately? Pogo, pogo sticks. Oh, the pogo stick. Oh, yeah. yeah. Classic. Yeah, yeah, this is a long sequence. It's good though. Like it's nice. Well, it's like long because it. they put it in slow motion for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> but they got a song. He's singing a song. Oh, is what he? I don't get about this kill is he's like he he's like oh this old lap and he's like pogoing on his yeah. his chest. But then they show his face and he has like lesions on his face. Yeah. Just like his face is all torn up. How the fuck yeah. did that happen? <laughs> Maybe it's a couple of like pogos that we missed. I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did it slow motion, I think. Also, that is weird where he's like calling himself Lep repeatedly. Oh, really? Yeah. That just sounds, uh, it doesn't sound good. He calls himself Lep the whole series because he goes Lep in the hood and I'm up to no good. Like he oh, has a whole wow. rap. Yeah. 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 Fuck. That's he has a whole rap. Nice. That the movie rap ends, is amazing. And before the credits roll, music video of Lep yep. in the hood. Oh, no. It's With my his favorite. zombie fly it's girls. Please look it up. <laughs> oh, fuck. I, I would be it. pushing for con if not for fear of the Roddenberry estate coming after me. <laughs> <laughs> I would really be pushing for that overlap. Uh, yeah. Gee, uh, do you think um, George Lucas had to give him permission to be in all these movies? You may go. Yes, but you may, first, yes. you must ask. <laughs> you may go to the hood. <laughs> yes, you may. You may return to the hood. <laughs> oh, I just got a memo here. Uh, Warwick is looking to go back to the hood. 
So he's like the leprechaun for the leprechaun. Like he has to like outsmart George oh, yes. Lucas in order to get into these movies. And there was a big like there's a three day thing where he had to like go really like have a powwow because it was leprechaun in space. Like, absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> I own I got- space. <laughs> I invented space in a movie. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. I've had a change of heart. You can go to space, but nobody's saying droid. Mm-hmm. No <laughs> robots to be found. <laughs> You're uh, my little true. robot, yeah. Warwick. <laughs> oh, oh, you, oh, you want to work with Ron Howard, a little willow, huh? That's going to cost you. <laughs> I think, wasn't, uh, was wasn't GL like yes. an executive yes. producer? Yes. That's, that's what it is. Yeah. 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 That's what's uh, going to cost you. It's now my movie. <laughs> under, underrated movie, by the way. I, I enjoyed Willow. Oh, hey, Ron Willow. Howard. How about George Lucas Presents <laughs> Willow? <laughs> oh, you want Warwick, huh? Yeah, yeah, you want me too, that means. So uh, you just put me all over this thing. <laughs> uh, so there's an extended sequence where Jennifer Aniston and other guy, uh, oh, Nathan, that's his name, are just like waiting in this diner. This is the fucking watercress salad and every yeah. other scene. He's uh, eating just like, Gravy Jello. I don't this know food what. looks oh, fucking disgusting. And I I eat terribly. <laughs> this looks disgusting. Well, it's like a Salisbury steak. I think is what we're talking yep. about. Which is yeah, but more more gravy than Salisbury. Though, and, dude. And that's powder gravy. I'm looking at right. <laughs> you oh, bet your yeah, sweet yeah, ass. Sure. Oh, we're totally. In the film on top. <laughs> yep. He also oh, like yeah. judges her for not eating it, and yet he <laughs> we cut back and forth to this diner several times across what I can only it's imagine. Dangerous. Why hours. they cut back? I feel like they're yeah. shooting All he it does in is push it around time. his plate yeah. like a yeah. kid trying to be done with dinner. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he goes to her. He's just like. You're a little skinny. You might as well eat something. It's like, dude, go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. Is it possible for you to fuck yourself? You are the fucking hired help, dude. You are a fucking house painter. What are you doing? Getting so involved with this woman's life? It's outrageous. Yes. Her dad got bit on the hand. Whatever. <laughs> Drop her home and that's it, that's man. The, that's it, man. That's better movie right there. It's like 5.30 rolls around and the paint <laughs> boys just leave. Yeah. Like, well, good luck with all that. I, I love that the reverse of that is also true, though, because when Alex and Ozzy get to the diner later, Jennifer Hans is like, where have you been? It's like, lady, I didn't I've know known you, you for like three <laughs> yep. hours. Yep. Yeah. You're totally right. Why does anybody give a shit about anybody else in this movie? It makes no <laughs> sense to me. No sense. Uh, but this is where the leprechaun finds, like he robs this place blind because he's got the little car and then there's like toys and shit in the back. Yeah, he takes, he takes the toys. Toy. Yeah. Yep. Dude, he's fucking some of those later. Oh, yeah. definitely, dude. They're definitely. like large stuffed animals. <laughs> that teddy bear is as big as he is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He gets pulled over by a cop and... <laughs> Dude, uh, this you know cop, what? he's wearing white, white, white socks with black white shoes. Socks. This guy's got to die. <laughs> very rare yeah. for, a, very rare for an Irish person. Leprechaun says a cab, dude, and I'm, I'm with them. I'm with, I'm with <laughs> yeah. you here, dude. <laughs> yeah, and th- dude, this cop, at least in this scene, it is 100 percent not quite synced up ADR. It's really bad. <laughs> it's really bad. He pulls this guy over, and I don't know. We don't really get into the mind of this cop too much, but like, what is this guy thinking? Like, I need him on the radio to be like, it's a fucking kid, a little dune buggy cart or some shit. Like, he yeah. comes up to war to the to the leprechaun and like, not really shocked at all that there's this little monster in the car. There seems to be a costumed burn victim <laughs> driving around in a small car. I don't know what to tell you here, guys. Just bring backup. Just backup. Let's get that. That's all I could think of this whole movie is at what point does everyone finally agree that, yes, this is a leprechaun <laughs> with magic powers and not just a guy in yeah, a costume? Yeah. <laughs> like, it would take a lot to convince me. It would take a lot. Like, it could just be a person. You're it's right. I mean, especially guy. because with this lack of magic, he's just fucking biting groins and scratching yeah. people. Like He chases the cop into the woods in a oh. scene that was actually, uh, that was added later after they filmed because they were like, oh, this needs to be more of a horror movie. So originally the whole interaction with the cop ended with him grabbing his face. uh, Uh, And then they went and shot this like 10 minute fucking sequence (laughs) of the leprechaun chasing him into the woods and eventually just killing him with the the boring ass neck snap. Yeah, Yeah, it totally sucks. sucks. But like him getting chased is hilarious, dude. And this guy's like, get away from me, you little creep. It does go on forever. But also the studio was probably like, hey, 
this movie needs to be, I don't know, 90 minutes instead of 70. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I think he's well, holding was... his fucking nightstick like a gun at points. He's <laughs> yeah, like yeah. holding it like a rifle. <laughs> yeah, he whips it around. He does that move, and you know that this actor was practicing that. He's like, oh, if I can whip the little handle like that, it looks cool as shit. Oh, maybe I'll like, do that. This is the, the movie. best and worst night of this cop's life. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you know, he saw that car go by and was like, oh, fuck, finally something. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah no. I, and I guess if it's to be believed, again, this is IMDb trivia, and you guys as fans of this movie may know more than than I, but um, <laughs> super fans. Like, like this this uh, writer director like wrote it as a straight horror movie, and then apparently it was Warwick Davis who was like, maybe there should be some comedy in it. Fucking terrible decision. Yeah, <laughs> which <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Bringing the comedy the into it. Bringing the comedy, man. It's like. Horror comedy. We were talking about this recently because we we did um we did a, a big episode on American Werewolf in London and just talking mm. about how like horror comedy is so so hard to get right. Yes, yes. we and talk about this a lot. On yeah, the podcast. yeah, because yeah, like for every like I don't know two horror comedies, there's fucking fifteen that are unwatchable. Yeah, and it's yeah. because the comedy just isn't working. And I'm sorry, yes. like I don't think anything this dude says or does in this movie is funny. Like I can oh, see where they're, thi- where they're thinking it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like insert joke here, but like, I don't know. I'm not laughing. I don't think well, this is funny at all. It's cause they're so half-assed and because yeah, they, they interjected it late into the development of the show. Yeah. Uh, also, I have it just playing on on mute on my other uh, oh, monitor, excellent. and the cop the cop just chucked his bata- his nightstick oh, yeah. in the air. He just, <laughs> he just throws Dude, it. Dude, he at throws it at him. Yeah. What are you doing? But in the in the Leprechaun <laughs> sequels, at least they're like, okay, these are comedies now, yeah. and so there is an attempt to write jokes. They're still bad, but yeah. at least they like know what they're going for. Here, they're they're so half assed. Yeah, he's like. I don't know. What, they're just making like barely rhymes at all. And like, and, yeah, not quite puns. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's weird. And you also like when you're doing horror comedy, you have to like shoot it differently. And this is shot like a straight horror movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they have just like garbage jokes thrown in. Yeah, I just I just don't think it works. But yeah, this cop getting chased is fucking hilarious. He does have the great like, oh, this like his last three lines in a row are thank God. Like he sits <laughs> down on a tree. He's like, thank God. Oh, you know. Thank God. Thank God. And then this leprechaun fucking jumps on his shoulders and breaks his neck. Very yeah. uh, anticlimactic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's like the, the, it gets worse as the movie goes on, but like his abilities, they're just like all over the place. Yes. Like the fact that he can super jump up to get on this guy's head. Like, well, and also do, in this do scene, the Chris double Win- jump from Mario Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, he should have Luigi's legs. Do um, that actually, little- that's <laughs> very similar to an idea I'm working on for the prequels. It's called a force jump. <laughs> yeah, so you're you're getting fucking sued. <laughs> yeah. I'm quite, I'm curious. Obi Wan does that move, pal. <laughs> uh, Mar- the Italian versus the Irish, the the never end- ending struggle. That would be a good Ma- movie. Mario mm-hmm. and Luigi versus the Leprechaun. Who's going to win? Do you think? I think the Leprechaun's wow. going to get. It. Oh, you oh, yeah. think it's you think it's two on one handicap match? Yeah, I think they have to. <laughs> I don't know, dude. It depends on like if there's like a flower, like a four leaf clove, or if you can pick that fire flower, and Mario mm. can start shooting mm. fire at the oh, Leprechaun. Yeah, yep. and then whoever wins between the Irish and the Italian side, they get to be white. Well, sorry. I got up to use the bathroom and came back to the best. Thing I've ever. Is the best. Uh... I'm, I'm all in for that idea. Cause I was thinking earlier, like, huh, like what would be the Italian equivalent of this kind of movie? And it definitely is like a Mario. Horror movie. <laughs> I mean, that, that first Mario brothers movie, there's some horrific elements. Yeah. Sure. That's That's true. Yeah. That. Made a straight up mm-hmm. horror version where he's like shoving pipes into people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, God. totally. Like this dude. surly fat pig of a plumber <laughs> shows up and <laughs> yeah. shadows your sort door of- one day. You sort of like uh, tinker with, um, you know, the concept of like Tetsuo, but it's like fucking yeah. Mario, yes. the yeah. pipe yeah. man. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. I can see that happening. And it he turned- just turns into a bunch of fucking green pipes at the end of the movie. <laughs> yes. You'd better not pay the plumber. <laughs> <laughs> and then Bowser like fusing together and they're like, our love will fucking destroy this earth. And they stop motion through the streets. He's doing that like fast motion walk across the uh the Super Mario oh, yeah. world brew, map. Brew, brew. Yes, I love yeah. it. Did you I guys love it. Is, did you guys excellent. hear about the actual crossover they tried to do with Leprechaun? No. With 
Candyman. Candyman. Oh, that's they tried a bad to- idea. Tony Todd shut it down. Yeah, yeah, good. You know why? Because Tony Todd's a fucking class act. <laughs> yes, yes, he is. But Warwick was in. Warwick was like all about it. Of course it. he was. Actually, oh, yeah. what would the tone of that be? Ooh. It can't that, that is exist. the most incongruous tone yeah. between horror movies. It really yeah. is. Yeah. Like you could put any other horror movie with Leprechaun and it would work better. You, yes. Chucky, Freddy, whatever. Ch- Chucky, I think, is the way, you know, that's like. Chucky you can't do le- yeah. a thing where it's like you've got fucking one thing who's this mystical fucking dumb leprechaun and then like <laughs> this monster that was like a fucking victim of an historically uh, like chronicled <laughs> hate crime. Like you just, you cannot have the two <laughs> be right, in the same What movie. about Hereditary? Would that work better, maybe? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. I never yeah. wanted yeah. to be your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the leprechaun's just fucking naked in that treehouse or whatever's going on. Yeah. <laughs> Praying to Paymon. Yeah. And how is it? So that's a question, though. So this motherfucker Hornswoggle uh, yeah. waggled his way into this franchise. Was Warwick just done? Was he like, I've humiliated myself enough over the last twenty years? I, I don't know. I know that he didn't do this the recent twenty eighteen one because uh, he said it's because he has a young kid doesn't want to do a horror movie while he has a young kid. When the kid's older, he'll he's open to coming back. Oh, fuck, dude, if okay. he returns, dude, it's like fucking cry macho. It's like cry leprechaun. <laughs> yes. Yes. I would fuck, love yes. that. Dude, he's just wearing that. the little hat too. It's just like <laughs> shooting through the movie. 90 year old leprechaun. <laughs> can he's barely talking. breathe. He's talking. What? He's just saying random shit to a, a, a glass of Guinness. <laughs> he calls that macho. Watching that new one though, I did... I, I have a lot of respect for Warwick Davis in these movies because he's so he's like the performance is very good. The the yeah. newer one, you can tell how hard it is to just be acting like under all the makeup and like, I don't know, to be that animated and stuff. It, you can you can like see yeah. the the new one where you, know, well, you can tell he's like working really hard oh, to yeah. like yes. get yeah. into a kid. And this just feels like I'm watching a fucking leprechaun. He's had a, around, you know? a lot of practice Warwick has had. Right? Yeah. I th- but I think, yeah, he, well, he's so up for this movie because he wants to be a, you know, not to be a star, but like, obviously like he's most known to being in a teddy bear costume at yeah, this point. You could say and, he's and Willow ego, a little bit. He's an ego hungry maniac. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> I would no, say No, but I'm- like, I don't know. Yeah, you're given the opportunity to be the fucking titular villain in a horror movie. Like, yeah, of course you're going to do it. And right? he yeah. smelled that con money, too. He's like, dude, horror cons, I am going to get yep. in. And dude, I, horror and then cons, I'll have a small you got the child. fucking Star Wars con. Like, oh, this dude. motherfucker doesn't yeah. Yeah. Has he ever? I don't know if we've ever seen him. It, does he ever do horror conventions here, James? Uh, I haven't seen him at any, but uh, yeah, he loved this role. Obviously, he did yes. it for so long. Yeah. But yeah. he was, yeah, he was only 20 or 21 in this yeah, first movie. Oh, really? I did not know that. Yeah, wow, he's really so young. he's super fucking young in Return of the Jedi then, huh? Oh, he's a really child, young. I think. Yeah. Like, like oh, around wow. 10 years I, old, right? I've always or... kind of thought he was a little older. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah, but yeah, team. man, I got a great deal on him. I got a plan. Yeah. <laughs> I got, got, this orphanage. got in at the bottom floor. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you're, it's technically an internship, Warwick, so you don't get paid any money. <laughs> Look, I just, I gave a bunch of nuns some money so they could fix their roof, and they gave me Warwick in return. It's how it worked, man. <laughs> Don't ask me where I got him, okay? Just and don't then, ask me. And then when what? I was done with him, I shoved him in an Irishman's crate and walked <laughs> away. Uh, so he goes back, everybody goes back, and this is when, like, sort of the leprechaun starts to uh, besiege our, our, our intrepid favorite characters, question? Yeah, sure. Uh, they come back to the house, and the place is fucking ransacked, except, man... And what do you got, fucking Quentin Tarantino in your house? Dude, the fucking shoes are, like, perfectly, (laughs) like, polished and cleaned on the table. And she's looking around like, well, this is creepy. I expect this kind of shit in L.A., but up here in North Dakota, middle of nowhere, I don't think so. Yeah. (laughs) Well, I think if we got QT, that all the shoes would be in the garbage because he's anti-shoe. It's it's, it's about the barefoot, my friend. That's right. Yeah. Oh, he's he's hiding all your shoes. Does he (laughs) fucking go in there, man? Where do you put a foot, Steve? You put in a shoe, man. So he's like the opposite of a leprechaun. He looks a little tall and he hates shoes. He can team (laughs) up with Mario to fight because he's he's Italian. Italian, Yeah, exactly. This makes sense. Oh, man. Now it's a three on one. <laughs> yeah, then you also have to make it a ladder match, I think. <laughs> yeah. You and Andy can't match, now it's a ladder match. <laughs> My God, Quentin Tarantino off the top of the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Great. 
Oh man. Uh, uh, but, so yeah, yeah. Uh, I think this is when like people we finally accept like forty eight minutes in that oh my god there's a <laughs> leprechaun and we got to stop yes. him kind of a thing. But this is when this dude this dude Nathan is taking over and this was this is when I was like the movie kind of forgot who lives in this house because yes. this guy is walking around and he's like all right we got the kitchen cleaned up now we're just we're gonna figure out where everybody's gonna sleep and i'm like go home yeah like why do you it's, care this yeah. much well, i mean <laughs> I, it's gotta be right it's gotta be all in service of like potentially getting laid by a 1991 sure. jennifer aniston because like <laughs> why do you care also like if you're even if you are this kid's older brother like what is the parent situation? I need to yeah. know what's going on here. Is Ozzy like the fucking uncle that the two of them were just yeah. left with Ooh. after they were orphaned and the three of them started this fucking Three Stooges painting company or something? <laughs> Dude, well, that, I, that is now my headcanon for sure because they don't <laughs> mention word one of these parents. Not no. one bit. Yeah, they feel very like, I don't know, like weird, like Old West character where like it would make a bit more sense if they're just kind of childless or like parentless kids <laughs> well, running but yeah, like yeah 1991 North Dakota that is the old west now <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that explains why he he sticks around because by North Dakota North Dakota law once you eat meatloaf with a man you are married to him. Oh, that's yeah, right. Very very common that's law married works. to him. Yeah, it's like a, it's the, it one of the, their laws of hospitality. <laughs> Do you think that's why she was turning down the meatloaf at the diner? She's yeah, like, no, she's no, no, I'm not fucking no, falling I'm, for that again. I'm planning on murdering you later. So <laughs> that's I the one thing accept. her dad told her before he disappeared from yeah. the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Only I have to eat the meatloaf for it to work. <laughs> but she just has to be in my eye line. You know, like forget, forget, like whose fucking house this is, like. Why is anyone staying here? Yeah. Where yeah. was that hotel with the high ceilings? Well, they're about to go, but the leprechaun is now like outside the house fucking with them. So they can't go. Oh, and also it's too I dark see. for her. Yes, oh, yeah. What... She walks outside and he goes, actually, it's too dark. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, that's right. She's like, fuck you guys. This is weird. I'm getting out of here. And she does a bad like she takes one look outside and fucking turns around immediately and is like, oh, it's a little too dark out. Yeah. Even also, like, like you don't own a car. So like, yeah, where are you going? Yeah, Nowhere. I feel like this part of the movie is just it feels like nothing happens yes. at yeah. all. Yeah. It's it's, like, it's very formless because like he's running outside, he gets caught in like a bear trap that yes. I guess the yeah. leprechaun yes. set yes. because even though he's a magical being, he has to set a fucking bear trap. This was the <laughs> hardest I laughed during this, <laughs> this guy this guy is running through the back or front yard of this house and he fucking like trips over a bucket that's like just right there. it's clearly just right there and he goes knee first into this bear trap and i had to pause it i was laughing i think so i was hard. writing a note i rewound it and i was like oh what how because I, I i look up and he's in a, in a bear trap I'm like that doesn't make any sense i rewound it assuming that it would but it did not ultimately he could have no. avoided it so easily like <laughs> It's so <laughs> fucking hilarious. And like, There's, this is like, yeah. dude, I am laughing at the parts of your horror comedy that aren't supposed to be funny. That's yeah. a big problem. Yeah. There's a <laughs> moment in this that James pointed out to me makes absolutely no sense. It's and right there it is now the, the funniest trap, yeah. part of this movie. It's yeah, it's right after the bear trap. So it's, it's all of them in a group and they're checking to see if Nathan is okay. And then in comes the leprechaun from off screen and he just goes, ah! But he <laughs> runs at them and at an angle to where they would have seen him yeah, running no, from really. like right a there, ways but they don't notice away. him until he's he's in not the hiding frame. or anything. Yeah. He just kind of walks up and is like, "Hey!" <laughs> and then that's when they like start beating the shit they, out they of him. Beat the oh shit my god! Out of him. Oh my god! I was also thinking. I mean, I was thinking about uh, Joe Pesci at the end of Casino, but I was also thinking about. Uh, the the scene in Shaun of the Dead where he sinks it up to the Queen tune, yeah, and they're oh, fucking yeah. beating the all the zombies like zombie, in yeah. in sync. Oh my god! Like they are beating the piss out of this guy. It is hilarious. Yeah, and they're they're shooting him with that shotgun. Oh, it's like, beautiful. Or so he thinks. He's yeah. like, yeah, I got this, and shoots some like a bush. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I got that. Like, oh, do you get when he's unloading on that bush? I'm like, dude, save the fucking shotgun shells, man. Yeah. What are you firing at right now? Yeah. Well, well we, you missed at the beginning. He puts the unlimited ammo code, so he's fine. Like, oh this God, guy is just God firing it. at everything yeah. the entire movie. 
<laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be battling a leprechaun, unlimited ammo, and we're not doing slappers only. That's <laughs> fucked up. We're not doing slappers only. It's guns. We're doing guns. <laughs> this is my uh, my monthly plea to the Nintendo gods: put fucking Goldeneye on your goddamn like Switch Classic section or whatever, and let me play it. It's speaking never going to happen. Of, speaking never. of the slappers only. Um, so, yeah, uh, they're, you know, they're trying to figure out what to do. This dude's just fucking in this bear trap. And Jennifer Aniston makes the bad call of, oh, Ozzy, why don't you go call the police? And uh, like, yeah. he fucking calls and he's like, oh, thank God you picked up the phone, police department. There's a leprechaun and he's killing Send us. Send the he National Guard. <laughs> yeah, oh, the Army and the Navy and the National Guard. And this dude on the other end is like, Oh, hey, Sheriff, it's Ozzy again being fucking dumb. Huh? <laughs> Dude, this I <laughs> wanted more of these cops. The, yep, this movie absolutely. needs more of them, especially the one guy who definitely was at the JFK assassination. <laughs> like, he's, <laughs> look at him. Sheriff Cigarette, you mean? The yeah. Yes! cigarette? Dude, yeah, totally. the raisin of a human Fuck. being who has a sheriff badge. Yeah. Dude, it looks like if Lance Henriksen now looked more like a raisin. That's what <laughs> yeah. it yes. looks like. He's got it's second crazy. shooter written all over. <laughs> totally. Yeah. It is crazy, Eric. So this was only his second IMDb credit. Leprechaun and the Zapruder. Zapruder exactly. Yeah. Yes. Horror <laughs> classic. By the way, would be great on the kill count. Looking Got forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> is that two? Is that the number there? Is it? I think it's one, uh, the, right? The or, Texas governor, like, yeah, got the governor hit. gets he's dead. Is hit, he dead? Yeah. Oh, cool. I don't think he died. Oh, he's hey, dead hey, now, dude. That was God, a long time ago. Fellas, don't spoil the kill count. I'm going to watch sure, it. Yeah. James is going to perfect sure. this. It could be a great, like, one minute episode. It'd be cool. Uh -huh. right. We were in Dallas for a horror convention. We did go see the, uh, we, we sat on the, the very site where it was filmed. Wow. And that was very exciting. Yeah. Do they, I, they got a little, like, sign up or what? Actually, apparently the city. So if you if you go, chances are there is like a some kind of symbol. I think it was like a star when we went on the street where he was shot. But it's not sanctioned by the city. The city will like remove them and they oh, just show back up. Apparently, weird. Wow. But I think there is a plaque where I think. It it does mark like this is where the Zapruder film was sh like oh, they have but interesting I think the thing on the street is the if I'm not That's mistaken is the one thing where the city's like no <laughs> I'm glad you guys went I would be such I would be such a goblin if I ever made it to Dallas I'd be there in like five minutes I'd be like everybody could win whatever I, business I have I think that's one of the first things yeah, we I did was, yeah we got food and then checked it out Dealy yeah. Plaza Dealy Plaza I would yeah. like to believe that it was like it, for all these years up until very recently like what it was like two years ago that he passed like that was Poppy Bush putting the star there he, yes. still, <laughs> he still held a grudge after all these years and just kept yes. on every time they took it off he's like gotta go back gotta put <laughs> the star back nowhere my favorite was our stupid irishman <laughs> read my lips the star stays the star stays <laughs> my favorite was our uber driver when he realized where we were going he was like oh let me drive you around a little bit like i could i can point out some stuff so he gave us his own little tour oh, and then he told man. us he's One like sanctioned if you come out during the day because it was at nighttime he's like if you come out during the day there will be people out who will give you like conspiracy theory tours Ooh, so you yep. can just pick a random weird looking person <laughs> and they'll give you their own little tour and it's great big recommend I want to see share. I want to see where Sheriff Cigarette and Poppy Bush were on the day. Yeah, yeah. Where's yeah. That? I want to see that Sheriff tour. Sheriff Cigarette, I love Sheriff. it so much. <laughs> <laughs> What's great too is he like kind of reminds the people on the radio that when he radios like for the deputy or whatever, he's like the guy re like responds because it's f it's a fake out when it's the leprechaun. Maybe I'm yes. being a header. Yeah, yeah. Thing, yeah, and uh, he's just like. Yeah, he's like introducing himself to him. <laughs> yes. hey, this is the sheriff, your boss. <laughs> Sign your checks. Yeah, he like this is oh, that guy name. was just drunk. I think <laughs> he's drunk. <laughs> Uh, this is where, dude, the leprechaun does get blasted with the shotgun, and that is fucking buckshot right into his tiny tummy, and fucking <laughs> green explodes everywhere. It's so awesome. And this is Jennifer Aniston, kind of the clunker of the movie. She's like Nathan. That was no fucking bear. And yeah. I was like, wow, yeah. Jennifer Aniston using harsh profanity kind of strange to my ear. And this is when she decides, okay, I'll just, this guy wants money. I, we got it. She talks, to, <laughs> she talks to Alex. He tells her where the gold is. She gives him the gold. She thinks it's over. 
And it would be, except for obviously the coin inside. And now the leprechaun has more powers because of the gold that he's already yeah. got. That's or, right. Yeah. Gold enhances yeah. his powers. Right? Sure. Yeah. That's why and, he could do the Freddy Krueger through the telephone fucking. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. how was that off. not a oh fucking God. lawsuit? <laughs> 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 Warner Brothers should have hopped on that shit and sued the pants off that these That little people. baby arm that sticks oh, out. Yes, oh, no. Yeah. oh, no. I'm it your looks like now. That, that character that Kristen Wiig does where yes. she's got like oh, the Oh, yes, the Lawrence Welk show. Uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> that always freaked the fuck out of me. I did not care for that sketch. <laughs> I found it unsettling looking at those. That's how hands. that's how Chelsea feels about Martin Short. In <laughs> yes, I can't. <laughs> so you've specifically never seen his the... character with the I forget what the character's name is with the triangle and his hair. Oh, oh well, that he did on SNL. Uh, I, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's there's cool. also Jiminy Glick. I, I hate unsettling. him. To, like I hate all of it. You're, yeah. you're going scary. to be screaming watching Clifford. You're not. No, going to no, you can't do it. Just scary. We can do that for the podcast, James. <laughs> Uh yeah well oh Martin Short as uh Jack Frost in that third Santa Claus <laughs> no, movie oh, yeah. Yeah. it's terrifying that's fucking that's terrifying so scary. Uh, so anyway the, the leprechaun gets in the house <laughs> and he gets in all these cabinets the why I want to talk about this so much is it's the scariest part in the movie. The leprechaun pinches this dude in the dick. And yep. I, yep. I had to just take a walk around. It's, he just, it's, wild. It's, a, it's, a, it's a pinch. It's not even a grab. A grab would be preferable, even though it'd be more sexual. It's a pinch. But you can tell he's getting like the he's getting the whole Magilla in that. <laughs> he's yeah, touching he's hog missing. there, dude. Uh, he's totally oh, touching yeah, dude. He's pushing yeah. down the head guys, for sure. Guys, <laughs> guys, calm down. This is just how the Irish say hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pinch each other. You've heard of dicks. an Irish goodbye. Yeah. Well, this is an Irish hello. You pinch each other in the dick and balls. Man, I much prefer the goodbye then. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that whole thing is fucked up, Steve. Also, it's like, I don't know, shotgun guy. Like, let's get pumping. You you couldn't you fucking shoot that bush <laughs> fast. Leprechaun, enough. don't get pumping. Don't don't get pumping. Get pumping. <laughs> oh, fuck, yeah. Too late, you already made your wish. <laughs> 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 See, there, there is more of that in the second movie of people wishing for things. It's kind of like a Wishmaster wish thing. Master. And then yeah. we kind of grants it in a way that kills them. They really See, lean into, like, the powers and shit more. That is something, right? So we were saying, like, Leprechaun and Chucky due to size, but, like, Leprechaun v. Wishmaster. Oh, that's perfect, yeah. That's, that's oh fucking my God. perfect, right? Yeah. Then you get yeah. Div off, one of our fucking greatest Oof. living actors. Hell yeah, dude. Come in. Uh, Mikhail from Lost. Ooh. Have you guys met Div off? I'm curious. Yes, we have. We have, yeah. He's uh, very did, uh, nice. Uh, brief interview with him, just like a one question interview, and he was uh, great. He did the voice for us, oh, yeah, like unprompted. Oh I forget what he said, but I like totally. Oh, I think he girl. said, "Be good people for us." In that That's voice. right. Yeah. He did the oh, sign off for oh, our video. I, yeah. I know what There's... you want to ask me, but you're too afraid. So I'm just <laughs> going to do it for you. It's on your mind. You want me to talk like this? Uh, we've seen uh, Robert England did the did a little bit of Freddy for us in person as well, and that Ooh. was like. <laughs> See, it's interesting though. I mean, I guess because it's not it's not the same as like a, a a straight like voice acting thing. But I I always remember on um this is a hundred years ago. But when Kevin Smith started that Fat Man on Batman podcast, he had Mark Hamill on, and Mark mm-hmm. Hamill like they were talking about obviously doing the Joker, and he was like, "I'll do the voice for you like right here, but I won't because he has the same philosophy that Frank Oz does, which is like if I do the voice for you." It'll ruin it. I saw Frank Oz actually shoot that down in public one time. It was wow. fucking awesome. Because he came to uh, the place where I, I, I worked during the day at the Jacob Burns Film Center. hundred years ago, he directed the Death at a Funeral remake. Mm-hmm. And he came and so like dreaded every fucking time. You turn the Q&A over for audience questions. Yeah. My God, <laughs> just let us all go home. Yeah. But it's so we're there awful. and someone was like, could you do Miss Piggy? And he, fu- he didn't call that person <laughs> a stupid, <laughs> selfish asshole, which he should have. <laughs> but instead, he was just like, listen, if I did that for you, like, it would ruin the illusion of Miss Piggy forever. Yeah. And Mark Hamill was the same way. He was like, I'm going to do it for you, Kevin. But, like, I would never, you know, do it in public mm. or anything because it would, like, destroy that illusion. I would to like get- to yeah. ask Frank Oz to do the voice that he did in, in the start of Blues Brothers where he says, <laughs> one prophylactic soil. <laughs> yeah. It's the best one. Oh, yeah, that would I ruin the, the illusion for you, Eric. Yeah, I think both Andrew Divoff and Robert were both unprompted, which <laughs> at, which made it so much better. Right, it was if just, you're it cool with so it, fine, and you know, yeah. I also, just really, I met um, um, Rob Paulson, uh, the guy who's like Animaniacs, and he's, oh, yeah. he's Yakko, and 
at like a an event like a month or so ago, and he introduced himself to me as Yakko. Like oh, I didn't ask, but he did, oh, and I it was so cool. That's um, really that's cool. That's the best. If you don't ask, it's a little surprise. You think uh, <laughs> Gunnar Hansen ever threw it out to his fans and like unprompted? <laughs> he was like. <laughs> 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 I would like oh, it if Divoff had just done the Wishmaster for like a, a normal like PR question, like, well, actually, no, I cannot tell you what happens in the next <laughs> season of Perry Mason. <laughs> dude, yeah, Divoff on Lost too. Totally yeah, great. Yeah. I patch Mikhail using Love his it, fluent uh, Russian abilities there. Um, yeah. So yeah, oh, a dumb thing. The leprechaun is already in the house, but dumb thing. The way he gets in the house is through a bad fucking Santa Claus joke. He oh, comes yeah, down the chimney. But That's... I'm no Santa Claus. But like, <sighs> that moment is the funniest moment of the film. Not because of that line, but because it is followed up with Nathan shooting him with a shotgun. That is the response. He's like, I'm I'm down the chimney and I ain't no Santa Claus. <laughs> Boom. War Dude, falls back. What you should guy. do to the actual Santa Claus, by the way. That's a home invader. Stand yeah, your ground. Totally. Yeah. He's the most famous home invader of all. <laughs> He's prolific. You gotta do the gremlins kill for that. You just have, you know, if you have Leprechaun come down, oh, yeah, just yeah. die like Santa. Die like was, the dad and gremlin. I was gonna say there is a gremlin's death in this movie there coming is. up. It is. It's it's the leprechaun mm. himself. I would watch Gremlins versus Leprechaun. Oh, that would be awesome. That might be the best one. Sure. And the Gremlins would definitely win. But of course. That's not oh, a yeah. yeah. Uh, so he, we got to, I said we were going to bring it up later, and I have to bring it up now because, again, it goes into my whole thing of whose fucking house is this? Because this is Leprechaun's running around the house, and they're looking for him. Where's Leprechaun? And uh oh, what's that noise? And he slides by on a skateboard, and I'm like, okay, whose skateboard is this? Ooh, because yeah. whose house is it? Old was it the two fi- the child the child with some Grady's? <laughs> was he trying to pick up a new fucking skill? Yeah, because it's not Jennifer Aniston's and it's not the dad's, and we don't see this little turd skateboarding around anywhere. So this is just a fucking Deus Ex skateboard. But that turd it. looks like the type of turd who would skateboard. But Definitely, yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, now yeah. he looks this, like a skateboard. This starts turd. picking up with some like because now we're just in the the fun and games here. We have him on the mm-hmm. skateboard. Eventually, we have him on uh, roller skates. It's oh, just, dude, the roller skates it's just going through yeah. a fence and leaving like a <laughs> yeah, Looney Tunes yeah. on the line. Total yeah. Bugs Bunny move right yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> What if uh, it was O'Grady's skateboard and this whole time he kind of was trying to like kill his mom or like he just was like, if I just leave this skateboard oh, here. Oh yeah, leave by the, the, by the, the stairs. The stairs. <laughs> <laughs> well, Leprechaun, you achieved what I've been trying to do for years. <laughs> I never thought about just pushing her. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm a widow and I'm rich? That's Hello. also interesting is like he's able to just to live his life in this hospice and it's just like, dude, what happened to your fucking wife? Like, no one asked questions about that? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, dude. That's yeah. a real, like, she fell. Dude, it's a staircase. Like, he just said for years that she fell. All right. She fell down those stairs. In, in his house that smelled like gasoline. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Well, well, a lot sure. of questions. <laughs> Listen, I am to believe that the police department did not even look in that fucking basement because, yeah, if they had, oh, what's that smell? What were you doing down here? Like, yeah. Well, dude, Sheriff Spook of the CIA probably saw the leprechaun <laughs> and like covered up the existence of it. Oh, yeah. right. like they yeah. knew each other already. Well, we were uh, just sitting by the pool, drinking, hang- having a good time as we were, and then she went inside, <laughs> fell down the staircase, and a leprechaun uh, fucking killed her, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I do love, so they're like, oh, we got to go. This is where like Jennifer Renison has to run quick to this rest home, and they're trying to figure out like, or is this when she comes back? They're trying to escape, and they're fucking hucking shoes that's to distract her, him. That's her escape. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, to yeah. go yeah. ask the O'Grady, hospice, yeah. like, how do we defeat the leprechaun? Oh man! And just <laughs> like, you know what? The movie could, you know, yeah. You need your movie to be ninety minutes. It doesn't need to be ninety-seven. Cut this part out. It's terrible. Well, the thing is, like, I, I just can imagine just sort of like sitting down on a card table with the script and a red pen, being like, "All right, dude, like." What part do you think I'm going to cut? Is it the part where you go inexplicably to a rest home and then leave in three pages? Like, yeah, that's what I'm going to cut, dude. But After least- a fast motion yeah, wheelchair chase. Yeah, oh, yes, there's that as 
well. That like, add that to the roller skate and the skateboard. It's ridiculous. But at least I guess we see a different location. I was getting really yeah. tired, yeah. especially yeah. of that. We didn't even mention it really, but the cupboard scene of opening the cupboards oh, yes. and shooting. It's just been oh, yeah. so tired. I'm so tired of them looking for this fucking <laughs> yeah. leprechaun. And now yeah. I'm so tired of them running away from it. We haven't even brought up the fucking bullshit with the bicycle bell that takes another 25 minutes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Man, Dude, yeah. Who could even care? Just a wait. Lot the, of the fake lucky feels... charms. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pair, the lucky, a... oh, what was it? Lucky and Clover. Lucky Clover. 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 Yeah. Yeah. IMD, I think it was IMDb. Again, yeah, Green of Salt. But apparently they had the rights for Lucky Charms, which is why all the other cereals in the cabinet are name brand, which I thought oh, was yeah. weird. <laughs> and apparently they saw a cut of the movie and they changed their mind and they had to reshoot it with Lucky Clover. But everything else is still like Raisin Bran and all these like like Frosted Flakes and stuff. Yeah, the fucking General Mills people were like, you know what? We saw the cut of your Leprechaun film and we thought we were putting our wholesome family product in a fucking straight up horror movie. But you're trying to play me with this horror comedy shit? Fuck you. No no Lucky Charms for you. Out of here. Mm-mm. Straight horror or bust, said General Mills. <laughs> Too many jokes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think also maybe, uh, you know, this this nursing home scene, this also smells like a straight up, we got to get some more horror in here. Yeah. Uh, because it's really just Jennifer Aniston. It's Jennifer Aniston just jogging through this hallway and they're shooting her fucking right on. So like, you at know the what's most up. canted of angles ever. Yes, yep. obviously. Like, Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, we need like some, you know, be sweatered TNA in this movie and like a little more hard. So I don't know. Yeah, I guess he can fucking drop from the top of the elevator like Silence of the Lambs. I was going to say it's like Silence of the Lambs for totally. sure. I feel That's like Jim Pembry in there. God damn it. He got <laughs> killed by a leprechaun. Talk to him. <laughs> I feel like we got robbed of a scene. Like it definitely it had to be shot that the old man and the leprechaun fought. To yes. get them to this part. So we got robbed of this beautiful scene of this old yep. codger going at it with this <laughs> fucking, with Warwick You're totally Davis. right, dude. He she also, punted him into the I wouldn't elevator. even take, taking like the leprechaun walking up to his bed and putting like a pillow over his head. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Well, no, it could be another great moment for like him throwing his voice. He's doing the wife again. And then this old bastard's like, oh my there God, go. my wife's finally <sighs> coming for me. I can, you know, waltz off this mortal coil. And then it's like, not today. <laughs> Well, that he would does be something. The guy in the elevator, the old old Grady, is hanging upside down in the elevator, bloody to shit. We don't know how or why. And like he gives her the information about the four leaf clover. And she's, oh, oh right, I God. forgot he's still totally he's still alive. alive. She's yeah. like totally cognizant and fine. She's yeah. like, oh, let, let me get you down. He's like, it's too late for that. It's like, no, it's not. It's never too late to be <laughs> removed from well, an elevator's grating <laughs> bleeding. I, but, There's time for that. But Steve, here's the thing. I don't think she believes what is being said unless it's on a deathbed of some sort. I see. Got if it. You're, yep. If you're being said, what's, gonna sur- what's going to kill this thing is a four-leaf clover. What you have to do is just look at the grass for the next 15 minutes, <laughs> and then you will find what will kill the beast. Dude, that is the fucking final big set piece of this movie is people looking <laughs> through a clover, yeah, clover field. Looking at grass. I love that. Like, so this dude's like, yeah, just, you know, you got to go find a four leaf yeah. clover. And if it touches him, like he'll die or whatever. And so she, you know, having been there but a day knows exactly where on the property there's oh, a clover well, it's lit up green. But, yeah, I but guess. Yeah, very totally. green. <laughs> but yeah. first, not to make a neon sign. Not to make this any longer, she runs back and sees the cop car first. And oh, there's right. all that. And the he takes co- the eye. Yes. And she like, yes! oh, she stabs him in the eye with, and then steals yeah, the cop's she eye. She stabs him in the eye with the nightstick, which doesn't seem to be a stabbing weapon. But no. Um, no. I guess it gets it, blood, it, it bludgeons through and he then gets the a new eye from the deputy. Yeah, that's yeah. something. And it's, you know, a little bit of gore. I appreciate it. It's the, it. Go- he the goriest but he part. Can't but he yeah. can fucking help himself, though. And he's like, an eye for an eye, dearie. Yeah, and like, of course. Shut the fuck up and take the eye. You know, we speaking of the, the gore, uh, there is the scene where his, his hand gets yes. cut off in the door. Yes. Yes. And then right. we see the hand it moving. It looks good. And I keep it expecting does. it to, like, uh, cut off before you see the edge of the hand, but no, it keeps walking, and so it, it looks like you know uh, it's thing a from very, Adam's family. But like, it yeah. looks surprisingly effect. good. Yeah. yeah, it was good. Yeah. So you know, here we are. We're we're gonna kill this leprechaun. I love this little psychopath. He's talking to himself. He's like, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna this kill is that leprechaun. Disturbing. 
It is. <laughs> He's psyching himself into a kill. It's fucked up. I just like the idea of him like wrapping piano wire around his fists and like getting bloody while he's like, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then this is this is fucking Jennifer Aniston being like, I believe, I believe. And then like a four leaf clover is like, over here, you believe now. God, and this, it's dumb. And this is a screenplay pro- screenplay problem is like not not just because Jennifer Aniston and you know she would go on to be the most famous person in this movie by a mile, but like she's the protagonist, so she finds it. And the kid kills a leprechaun and then big teeth over there actually burns him down. Like she does nothing to kill this leprechaun yeah. after this. Yeah. No. It's yeah. kind of a bummer. That's true. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's the one flaw in the screenplay. I think I think I found it. Uh, there is also the hilarious um, leprechauns like attacking this kid and he puts his dumb little kid face right next to the bear trap. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, he that's... almost saw traps him, dude. Yeah. yeah. I wanted that to go down hard. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work out. Um, but yeah, they fight. He fucking tears this kid up. It's great. Uh, and then yeah, the kid though has the line. He's like, fuck you. Lucky charms. And like, because yeah. b- he's Bart Simpson out of nowhere, and he made this <laughs> yeah. fucking. Uh, that's why he had you know, the skateboard, dude. Slingshot, uh, slingshot. There we go. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, that's why he had the skateboard. That's right. He's Bart Simpson. Mm-hmm. And this dude, this fucking little leprechaun, eats this thing, goes right in his mouth. It's yeah, awesome. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, that crooked colonel getting killed at the end of the rock. He's just got like the, oh, the green right. ball yes. in his yeah. mouth. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, he gets so goopy. Dude, when yeah, he after he falls to into the well, yep. too, or is that like he starts dissolving yeah. like as he falls right? yeah yeah, yeah. Right yeah. Gross yeah. And this, awesome. this does look cool it's the end of gremlins 2 it is it's yes exactly yeah it's yeah. definitely yeah. gremlins 2 and he comes up this is the only time that there's like a puppet leprechaun in this movie it's <laughs> definitely like a <laughs> like yeah. someone puppeting this thing in the well which is great uh and then they fucking kick it back like, down or whatever and gun butt him up. with the, the yeah. shotgun i think <laughs> yeah it's like no no get back down there dude and, and they, i just love this well exploding yes! like there was c4 in it mushroom, mushroom clouds, clouds. <laughs> <laughs> did we mention in the climax there that that ozzy he was trying to get the coin out of ozzy out of his stomach yes. but oh, he's yeah, cutting his horrific. face instead he yeah. takes his buckle Down there. off and starts like grabbing his it starts cutting in his face. Yeah, like, I, I was expecting this whole movie to like get a, a nice horror scene of him getting in there. Do you right, really yeah, like digging yeah. into this dude's gut? Yeah. Totally. Yeah, There's like a, that first saw movie where he yes, has to find that the is key in the one, yeah. stomach. There's a scene, I think it's in the second one, uh, where th- there's like somebody's, he makes a pot of gold come out of somebody's stomach. Yes. Is this the yeah. Vegas yeah. one, I think? And no, I thought that's that- uh second one. It's LA. Oh, really? Oh, okay. okay. So I've I- seen more of these than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I got confused and I thought that death was in this and I thought it was Francis who was going to get uh, it. Oh, no, that, that movie has way too many locations to be this first movie. <laughs> fair point. Fair point. <laughs> Uh yeah, you know, and so he fucking eats shit and then it's like it just ends with a voiceover of him saying he'll be back, which clearly he returned several times, so he was not lying to us. He was not lying. Yeah. Although there is a standing it's theory. It's way too late. It's that like the, the next leprechaun day. in in each of these movies is a separate leprechaun. No, Interesting. Really? No. No. Nope. I'm actually nope. kind of no, no, into no. that idea. <laughs> It it kind of makes sense because their powers kind of differ. Like in the second one, his weakness is uh, wrought iron, which mm-hmm. is a traditional weakness of Fey and uh, leprechauns. Mm-hmm. So, but they never mention that shit here. Also, nope. doesn't have the shoe <laughs> fetish until uh, the direct <laughs> sequel to this. So, huh. oh, yeah. see, yeah, you got to keep that. Yeah, you got to keep that. They probably <laughs> lost a lot of audience members, I feel. Without the shoe fetish? Yeah. A bunch of the shoe weirdos were like, oh, fuck, we finally thought there was a franchise for us. But- I, would, <laughs> I would love it if there was good leprechauns in this world. Like, every, and the second one, like, all these, like, regular-looking little people are just like, oh, dude, that guy's a fucking asshole. I don't know what happened to him. Yeah. <laughs> Like leprechauns as a species are actually pretty chill. Yes. But then it's like this one dude is just <laughs> such a fucking a asshole. Lot. He's a yeah. lot. Yeah. I mean, his dad left when he was a kid, so they <laughs> fucked him up. And do they ever do that? Do they like, is there a fucking flashback at some point of like Warwick Davis, like without the makeup and he's like got a little leprechaun family? Well, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah no, no. There's- leprechaun's father is Van Morrison. <laughs> <laughs> There is an animated backstory. I was going to say, oh, there's like an, a storybook. It's at the beginning thing. of Leprechaun Back to the Hood, and there are other leprechauns who all 
like went back to their world, but uh, this little fucker stayed mm, and to, uh, to wreak havoc. No. Yeah. yeah, I forgot which one that opening. Leprechaun back to the hood. I can tell Oof. you. All about it. <laughs> <Immediately>. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that is the end of this movie. So we will start uh, with, of course, our, our two guests here uh, this week. Final thoughts. I feel like you're going to recommend this movie, so I'm not going to ask you that. But final thoughts about <laughs> Leprechaun. <laughs> Chelsea, big a sigh. tired sigh. Yeah, yeah, it's like it. It's too slow of a movie for me to recommend it. Is like, oh yeah, it's a so bad, it's good. Like it's just too fucking slow. But I do think that yeah, the like the makeup and design of this character is super cool. Like it just looks good. The effects mm. in it are really good it's just it's so it's just boring <laughs> I, love, I love the effects i actually like the music the the theme that they have uh mm. i think works really well for what it is um but i i do think that if you like bad horror movies a lot of this series is enjoyable but not this one <laughs> uh I, I think it's a pretty bad movie it's boring uh, I ranked it when I did my Leprechaun ranking series. The I only put two below it, uh, the the WWE one. And then I also didn't like Leprechaun 2. I think it's just because the characters really annoy me. But I literally have all the other ones ranked higher because they're more fun and they're not at a fucking North Dakota farmhouse. I don't know how you take a magical creature and just stick them all on a farm for 90 yeah. minutes. It's inexplicable. Watch Leprechaun Space if you want. Like, a so bad it's good. That that one's its own breed. Now the yeah. question is, uh, how many of these are owned on home video and sitting in your house right now? I mean, multiple copies of. <laughs> 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 I have the collector set. Yeah, I got them. Oh, we yeah. have I them on Blu-ray. You got them in, you know, one for the house, one for the car, one for the beach. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, all right, now uh, over to our gang here. Eric Siska, final thoughts oh, and recommendations. Um, Leprechaun. Yeah, no, I'm not going to recommend it. I, I I think it is slow. <laughs> it's it's It wears out its welcome surprisingly quickly. Um, so, you know, there's better, fi- we've talked about better films on this show already. It's a Pruder film, et cetera. Mm-hmm. There's better things that you could be watching. So that's, that's my two cents. Chris Cabin. Uh, no, uh, I, I, yeah, this movie really sucks. Um, I would say, you know what? It has, it has a good message. Never eat money. I think that's sure. an important message. Yep. That you should, don't know where it's been and who it belongs I, to. I think it's important. Uh, I think it's also the, the single location thing. Tremors comes out around this time and does a similar thing way, way better. Big time. Yeah. Um, and it's also because, you know, the Tremor uh, worms don't have like one liners that they're throwing out. Like, <laughs> I'm coming up. I want the world. To- <laughs> Dude, that should happen. Though. Now I want them to. Dude, yeah. re- redo Tremors is the Chris Cabin cut, man. <laughs> them worms are just saying shit. It'd be awesome. <laughs> uh, Steve Sadek. I have to follow Chris Cabin doing an impromptu <laughs> song. Fuck, this sucks. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Steve. Yeah, no, I, I, I kind of agree. It's a light, it's a light not recommend for me. I do. I'm kind of on the James and Chelsea train of like, it's. I think that he's got enough going on. The Warwick Davis ness, the character design is okay. I am going to be uh, in our programming meetings, which are via text. I think this isn't the last of this series that we see. No, I, I do want to go no. back to this. I want to, because I do, I know at least the Vegas one's a lot of fun and obviously space and in the hood are all exciting. It just kind of sucks. Uh, it, it, it is just like a, it's a budget thing, I guess, but it's also like a poor planning thing. Like, why doesn't the leprechaun go to the sheriff's station and start fucking shit up? You Ooh, had that location. That would be do amazing. It. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, no, I I totally agree. I mean, yeah, I think I'm like I'm in I'm in your camp there, Steve. I think just especially after the glowing reviews that James and Chelsea have given to the rest of this franchise, I have to go <laughs> check out uh, at least a couple more. I want to get to space. You guys are going to lose so much respect for us. <laughs> <laughs> I just I, I think because it's like the, we just review we review so many horror movies. Yeah, and yeah. sometimes your your standard of like 
what is watchable gets real fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yeah. So our calibration yeah. is it's totally bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I, I totally, it's kind of the same thing as doing a show revolving entirely almost around bad movies. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah. you just kind of, you watch so much shit that a total middle of the road thing, you're like, that's a masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that's, that's going to do it. And that's also going to do it for, the 2021 uh, Halloween Spooktacular here on We Hate Movies. Um, oh, so what better way to close out the month and with uh, with you guys. So thank you so much, uh, James and Chelsea, for coming on. Uh, plug away. What do you got going on? Promote whatever you want to do. Do it up. All right. Well, uh, since this is coming out the end of October, we are finally catching up on sleep, which is great. <laughs> uh, we just released a ton of content on the channel. So check all that out, including fun interviews and event videos and kill counts and podcasts. Uh, that's on the YouTube channel, Dead Meat. And yeah, you kind of covered all, all that stuff. Well, there's also the podcast can be found, which Chelsea Yes, the podcast runs. you can find. It's the Dead Meat podcast you can find anywhere you listen to podcasts. There's also, we do a video component to it as well. So if you want to watch it on YouTube, you can do that too. Uh, and I want to put a question out to both of you really quickly here as we wrap up. Uh, because, you know, I'm I'm a fella who... I'm pretty stingy with uh, being impressed by horror these days. Uh, I, I feel like it's a real fucking shallow pool. And like, as much as I love Shudder, like sometimes it's okay to not acquire a movie. Um, <laughs> so I, I want to put it to you. I want to ask you right now, because we're recording this at the beginning of October. Yeah. Uh, just a, a quick one recommendation. What's a new horror movie, you know, streaming or otherwise that you guys are liking? Uh, it's It's not strictly horror but this is a kind of a fallback answer for me have you seen come to daddy no no yes no. think so come okay. to daddy so good come to daddy okay is good stuff it's oh, elijah right. wood uh it's it's kind of horror but kind of just weird it's very bizarre yeah i like I, elijah wood getting weird so that's yeah. yeah it's really really weird and it starts one way and becomes a totally different like, Ooh, it, it's cool like, like the mood of it is I can't think of anything to compare it to. Mm -hmm. I also love um, 12 hour shift uh, Bria Grant's movie that she, uh, does she write direct and star in it? Uh, She did not star in it. She does not act in it actually. Uh, Oh yeah. I I don't know why I thought she was, but she wrote and directed it. And yeah, that's, it's kind of like a madcap dark comedy. It's like very, it's very Coen brothers. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's, yeah, it's about like uh, this nursing staff working, like overnight uh, at a hospital shift and David Arquette is like this, uh, this serial killer that ends Ooh. up there as like a, he's like a prisoner that ends up in the hospital. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's super mm. dark comedy. It's like, that's a horror comedy that works. I was very mm. impressed well, by it. That's the thing though, hon, is both of those that we just recommended, they're barely horror. So I want to give sure, them an, like actual, like a horror an actual horror movie. film. I'm trying to think of ones recently that have really impressed me. Um, uh, uh, Malignant. Host? Did you see Host? <laughs> I loved Malignant. Uh, I, I love I think Malignant. Malignant. Malignant was a good time. Malignant I'm being I'm great. being Gabriel for Halloween. So yeah, oh, yeah. Gonna <laughs> she's gonna be Gabriel, and I'm gonna be Dwayne with. Below. Yes, she's gonna be Dwayne from Basket Case. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. oh, awesome! Do you have anyone going as uh, Bev Bonner with you? James? <laughs> oh, I wish <laughs> Casey. Yeah, yeah. Totally. yeah. Totally. She was a very nice woman. Uh, yeah. All right, so awesome. Thank you for those Rex, and thank you guys for coming on. This was so much fun. Dude, thanks uh, for having us. Yeah, this was so fun. Of course, come back uh, next week. We'll make it a regular thing. Fuck it. Hell um, yeah. So, yeah, as always here in We Hate Movies, the spooktacular might be over with, but there's more content on patreon.com slash We Hate Movies, including a We Love episode, like fucking two and a half hour banger talking about American Werewolf in London, uh, which was a great time. Um, tons of Patreon content. Check that out. Oh, and the uh, the Prowler Mentary. Yep. Our, our yes. sinkable commentary to Joe Zito's Prowler. A fucking oh, great God. movie. It's a great time. Good uh, movie. Yeah, man. Um, and, Major and- Chatham. <laughs> yes. oh, oh, that Major Chatham. Yeah, we, we have we tried to find him to in that movie. Yeah. Oh. They can't find that guy, dude. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, but as always, though, you know, we don't take any breaks here, man. We hit movies rolls on next week, Steve. We're out of the spectacular, but what is going on? You will believe Nick Nolte voices a gorilla in The Zookeeper, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh wow. boy. Oh, boy. I thought the spectacular was over. No, it's not. <laughs> Never We're over. We're just being fucking haunted in a totally different way, dude. Uh, <laughs> so until next week, with the fucking zookeeper! I'm Andrew Jupin. <laughs> Steven Sadak. Eric Siska. Chris Cabin. J- James A. Janice. And Chelsea Rebecca.
Take it easy and happy Halloween. We all go a little mad sometimes. You know, it's Halloween. I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare, huh? Sometimes. That is what I... Time to keep your appointment with the Wicker Man. They're coming to get you, Barbara. He's sick for fucks. You've seen one too many movies. Now, Sid, don't you blame the movies. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. What the fuck are you watching in the back? What an excellent day for an exorcism. That was a HeadGum Podcast.